not touch anything for a few days and let the yeah, game yeah. run. Yeah, don't, uh, don't don't touch anything for ten days. Yeah. Also, auto accept hotline is off. I hope. It is right. Manix. Uh, good question. I did yeah. have it on. Yeah. You you, okay, you cool. need to disable that. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's on text. It's on text. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Perfect. Yeah, so so people, please, when 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 the game starts, just don't touch anything, don't engage in anything for at least ten in-game days. Um, it has a habit of uh, making people crash out. Um, so just do that for your benefit and everyone else's, please. Um, once it's started and you're past that time, everyone jump into your own uh, your own channels and um, enjoy the game. Um, I won't be here. I'll, I'll be bobbing in and out, but I won't be in game. Um, you'll be in the capable hands of uh, Chris's head GC and the rest of the SGC team, in which we have a lot of uh, very dedicated people. So, um, before I go, I'm just going to thank everyone of, on the staff team for working so hard to get this game started in such a short amount of time. And I hope you all have a wonderful game. Thank you, Brock. Right, I'm going to start the game. Let it run till the 25th. Brock, you're, you're, you're an absolute G, mate. I try. All right, I'm muted. We're going to go ahead and get going. Thank you for the follow. What's up, Condor? Thank you for the sub. 13 months. I'm glad that you are alive and well. Uh, we had a little bit of a tough time hosting it. We hosted without the DLC, but we're good to go now, so it's all fine. We are playing the Habsburgs today. We are Count Werner of Algau, a Habsburgian count. This is at the conception of the Habsburgian family. They are irrelevant. They are unknown. They are minor. I did some research on them. It's thought that they probably were descended from some Germanic counts to the north, but they were so irrelevant at this point. It's it's of no note. Holy shit, is that Kala? What's up, man? How are you doing? Jesus Christ. It's been a long time. How are you doing? What's up? So what's up, Great Magic? Um, But yeah, so this is a big game. There are 50 people in the game. There are two more who couldn't make it, but they'll be at the rehost. So this is huge. Everyone's in the HRE. So it's a 50-player HRE game, all role play today. Uh, we're going to probably do this for a month or so. We're going to do it till Agot comes back when they update the mod. And uh, yeah, so Tours and Tournaments is on. Our house is not known for anything. We recently built Habsburg Castle, which is a very famous place. But beyond that, nothing too well known. Um, Switzerland joined the HRE in the last hundred years. They also got most of their cities sacked by the Magyars around a hundred years ago. So this is when Switzerland's beginning to get very focused on defense. There's also like five players in Switzerland, so... Um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Hope everyone enjoys. There will probably be a lot of RP. I will do my best to, to talk with y'all. Um, but this is going to be a very spicy one. So, I think. We are a count. Then again, no no one may come talk to us. We may just be vibing with our courtiers the whole game. So, we'll see. Uh, we're not ambitious, though. We'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I do have something fun planned, which I didn't get the video I wanted done. So, I won't play that today, but we'll see. Werner. All right, I am going to do the bad German accent then. I do apologize. If any Germans are watching, I do severely apologize for what you're about to see. But I think it'll make things more fun. So, give it a follow, Demon. Looking forward to some substantial chins. Prominent is the word you're looking for. There is a hunt up north. We're not going to go to that. Let's look at our relations right now. We have two children. Sounds here. We have a son and heir, Otto von Habsburg, who is not too bad, pensive. We are going to take over his education personally. We have a younger daughter, Ida von Habsburg. We're going to give her a diplo education. I'll only use the accident in RP, I promise. And we will take over her education too. Werner has a stewardship education. We are married. Our wife is Countess Regen Lind, Re Lind of Argau. She's deceitful, stubborn, and arrogant, a flamboyant trickster. We are callous, gregarious, and temperate. We are a tough soldier. Not particularly competent, but... Yeah, we will not go travel for that event. It's very far away, and we're not a rich man. We are very poor. I want to reiterate, guys. We are playing the Habsburgs, but this is in a period when they have no respect. Their name is attached to nothing particularly important. We are having some desyncs here. We do have a few mods on, so we may end up having to rehost with no mods. We'll see. 
been fun. I'm just doing school stuff, but soon I will be doing more electrician stuff. Are you going uh, down like electrician path in school, Kala, to do that? You'll have to serve in the army first, though, right? Because you're finished. So I assume you had that coming up pretty soon. But you got a few years, right? AEIOU? How do you mean, Pond? We'll need to get a physician. We'll go pay homage to the Emperor when he has time. That's a player. He's going to be very busy, so I don't want to overwhelm him with stuff. We'll wait on that. Let's look at our council. Our Bishop Ebard uh, does like us. Our, our Chancellor is Conrad von Ver Verla. We'll put him on domestic affairs. Again, we're very minor. We're very unimportant. We'll be mo mostly focused on our own issues for now. We'll hire Valrum as our physician. Albuquerque's very existence is an insult to the name of our glorious dynasty. My kinsman is an utter disappointment in everything he tries to accomplish. We're not a murderer. Are we? Not good or really evil. We'll go try and help him out instead. We're very family focused, so we'll go do that. And we failed. They are dynasty is part of the a larger one, which is the Itzehonen. It's They're up in northern Germany. The Zeringen are the other big dynasty also uh, in Switzerland. Yeah, these are the OGs. They are up in the north. We're just simply a cadet branch at this time. I would say you could be a good ally, but then I saw your army size. No, we're irrelevant. I want to reiterate, guys, this is going to be an interesting game. I've never done this before in CK3. We're playing an absolutely irrelevant count. Our name is famous, but in practice, we are so unimportant, it's kind of crazy. So anything we want, we'll have to take. Very carefully. Get our wife to help us on Intrigue. And let's look at that player map really quickly. Oh my god, it is fucking busy. Yeah, there's a lot of people around us. Green is around us. We've got a player on Lombardy. We've got a player on Piedmont. We've got a player on uh, a word I can't say. We've got a player, obviously, on Burgundy, too. We'll go talk with Baron in a little bit. He's our brother-in-law. Ulrich of Bern. He did an RP post saying something as well. Let me go look. He wants to come talk to us. I'll read you the letter we got from the Count of Baron. Esteemed Count Werner von Habsburg of Argyll, our lands nestled in the Alpine Mountains contain many qualities of beauty. The rolling hills and sweeping streams, the cold mountaintops and warm gra uh, grass. Our houses have been united once through marriage to your sister, Rezinza. But great blood has already converged with the birth of three sons and nine nephews. Therefore, I propose a betrothal of my third son, Arnold, to your daughter, Ida. Arnold at six is already more than half as learned as I am. I have seen him ponder on many things. So he's asking for a marriage and he wants to come visit right now. Can I host a feast for him? Let's see. No, that's way too much money. I wish it was cheaper for accounts. The Emperor will give you a duchy if you petition. No, this is an RP game. The Kaiser's a player. Uh, we're not going to get anything that we don't get for ourselves. So we'll have to build up to everything. Station our men at arms. That's a new feature. I still don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Station holding. Put him BL. Yeah, we can't get an alliance with Ulrich, too. Guten Tag! Yeah, I'm muted. Never mind. Guten Tag! Hi. I'm handling Matt into his count where his court. Clearly sweating the tires as the tires you put. The tires as, as he waits among the procession of commerce. As Matt gets closer, you, you can see that you, you can. You turn up your mic, it's very low green. Okay. I'm having flashbacks to the wall. <laughs> oh. Alright. Let me. Is that better? A little bit. And can you get it any higher? Um, it's literally almost at 100% here. Let me, it might be in my mic setting. No, I, that's good. I can hear you now. That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. uh the, the man hands you a letter. 
and uh, after opening it, you read. Esteemed Count Werner von Habsburg. I already read it on stream. I got the one you sent me. Oh, you read it? Okay. I did. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, you would have gotten a letter back sent a couple weeks later to get to you that uh, you are invited to the recently completed Habsburg Castle and the holding of Biel, which is a very moderate but still very costly castle that was built by the Habsburgs just recently, a sign of our minor influence in the region, to visit and to discuss what you had requested in the letter. But it gives no sign of being willing to say yes. Count Warner is currently at a tournament, but he's on his way back. All right, we'll wait till you get back. Yeah, a quick oh, did question. You go to, did you go to the one up north? Oh, there's a big one. I'm angry, yeah. A quick question out of sea. Did you just, like, build it in character? Because from what I've seen, uh, the RL one was, like, really small. Yeah, it's, oh, no, it's tiny. So, like, if you look at a picture, look up Habsburg yeah. Castle, it's so small. Like, yeah. but for us and, like, my wealth and status, it, it was a monumental thing for them to build. Oh, I wasn't invited to the to the tournament in Angria. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yeah. No, because I'm a minor count in Switzerland. That's why. I got I got invited. I was invited to the Prince Bishop Wilhelm's hunt up north, but no, not oh, yeah. the big tournament. I got it. I got invited to that as well, but my UI was bugging out and I couldn't like do uh, it by the time. I also uh, don't think I have the money to get there, even if I want to. We're very impoverished here. I mean, you are too, right? Oh, really? I think. No, I make one point three gold a month. Yeah, because you actually have you have farming. We don't. And I started with, um, like, a hundred-something gold, so I'm just building up a big pipe pikeman. Oh, that's fair. Because he, he's a martial your, your, cousins, your cousins in Aragao are very, very poor. I, like, uh, this, they cousins were, like, one of the most minor, like, titles in, like, Germany in this time period. The Habsburgs had such humble roots. I just got, I just married my first son off to the Corinthians. For sure. Well, uh, when you're back from the, the tournament, just come, uh, we can talk then. Let's make sure we do the location-based stuff, so wait till you're actually back home, all right? Let's do that. Most of the castle's gone now. Wikipedia said it had a restaurant. Yeah, it's a tourist destination now. But it was very small even back then. It had a wall around it, I believe, IMC, from what I looked up. Uh, but yeah, it was very minor. You completed your, your degree. Hell yeah, Connor. Congrats. Uh, my, my path back from uh, like from the tournament goes through line. So when I just get there, I'll just say I, I stopped it. Yeah, like it. I mean, okay, we can do that. Sounds good. Because there's no way to actually, like, travel to places, you know what I mean? All right. In that case, you're invited in. Uh, the letters said that we had a great holding. I'm not, it I'm definitely... Not I'm saying you wanna... it's just on my way. It's on my way back to Bern. So I'm saying when I get there. Like, oh, we'll just start. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, let's do it this way. Like, come RP with me whenever you are, like, actually in BL itself. And we'll do it that way. So just let me know when you're actually here. We can do it like that. Right. Sound good? Yeah, I'll just... Cool. Simstream? That'd be fucking cursed. I do love medieval sims. That was very fun. But yeah, we are very impoverished. We're very poor. But yeah, congrats, Condor. Hell yeah. What are you doing in your master zone now? I can actually get a picture of the castle up on stream if y'all would like to see it. We'll take a quick look at the bountiful and wondrous... Castle. Here we go. This is Habsburg Castle. It is very small, very humble, very insignificant. Any force larger than a couple hundred men can easily siege this out. It's really just a fortified house with a tower. Supposedly back in the day, it had walls around it too. But yeah, I'd say it's a tourist destination now. This is the grand holding of our house at this moment. Humble roots for a humble count. My Marshal Waldo has been showing off a promising new recruit. He may not be noble stock. But by a name, I swear, Reinhold is someone you can have by your side. He is a very accomplished knight. We're humble, we're temperate, we're gregarious. We'd welcome him in, give him a cup of ale, and get to know him. He's an evil adventurer. Make one of our knights. Yeah. I do love that we're not getting invitations to anything because we're so minor. All right, so let's, let's start a scheme. All right. I have arrived. In you're, you're welcomed into the castle. It's very humble. It was suggested it was a great fortress. It's a reinforced house with a small tower, but the inside is rather well furbished, and you're greeted by Count Werner, his wife, their children, and the household guard. 
Guten Tag. It is good to hear. I have my cousin here in Switzerland. There are so few of us who have gone south and have titles here. It'll take me a minute to get into German. I need to I'm listen not, to yeah, some... I'm uh, no, I'm going I'm to try and do an accent this game. I want to try. Right. I'm very bad with them. I need to listen to more Rammstein before I do streams. But, uh... Welcome, cousin. It's good to have you here in BL. What do you think of my humble abode? It's a very nice thing. Cost a pretty penny. The, uh... The structure is, looks very sufficient. You can you can see Ulrich visibly trying to force a smile. Yeah, it's uh, very expensive. But in these lands, we must protect ourselves. The mountains, I was told when I was young, they, they would protect us. But it, uh, well, as you know, that's, that is not the case. But you come here to speak on familiar business, do you not? I do. I do. I think there are many paths we could potentially take to strengthening this region. To we'll keep our family close, it is important. Mm -hmm. The when... Lensburgs, the Habsburgs, they, they have had a history together, but I have only the one daughter. And it is a big thing for you to ask for her hand for your son. What, uh, what do you offer me? I, I offer you protection, of course. I am, after all, the strongest count in this Protection! As an alliance, I'd say. I mean, no disrespect to you, Count Ulrich, but your men do not number more than mine by very much. We are both humble. If I sought alliances, there are many others I could marry my daughter to. Uh, with with much respect, Count Werner, I I do think that there is a limited amount of suitors for your uh, for for Ida. Limited, yeah, but there are more than just you. As I said, what what do you offer? Alliance is interesting. But you surely have come here seeking her hand with more. Um. I am prepared to bring a dowry, if that is what you, you, you seem to be leading towards. Ah, uh, dowry. <laughs> that is more interesting. Uh, what exactly? What are the terms of this? Uh, for er, your hand in marriage to, to my son. For of a, course. Uh, a chosen amount of gold. A, a ducats, it's called. Uh, you're keeping that open? That's a dangerous thing, Count Ulrich. What do you mean? You are a humble man like me. You have very little gold to give, I think. I know uh, well that your holdings are not as meager as mine, but they lack the the wealth of some of the other Burgundian lands. Uh, give me a go. Give me a number. Write it down. Um, let me think. I'd say fifteen is a good amount. Fifteen ducats for my daughter's hands. Considering, considering the size. Surely of the you don't not need to insult my family in such a way if you come all all this way to my to my castle and insult me in my home like this. Um, Count Werner, I've I've heard you're a you're a temperate man. I I question how much you expect from these lands. How much money I can pull out of you. My temperance in my governance does not mean I will not expect reasonable recompense and dowry for my only daughter. Does does twenty gold sound more suitable to you? Ah. This conversation it's I will not take insult, Count Ulrich. Ah takes the time to sup with me. I have venison, roasting, we have drinks. Let us enjoy ourselves. Speak no more of this. There's much time. Perhaps we will speak again. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll sleep on it then. We will speak many nights on this, I'm afraid. My daughter, she is still very young. Yeah, but, uh, let's speak again. Are you have a hunt? Uh, you should talk. Well, we'll spend the night here in my castle, and then we can go hunting in the Alps together. Be better to get to know each other before, uh, 
before such a thing, anyway. We never oh, spent much time in our youth. Can't do it, Rick. Wait, a quick question, out of character. What do you mean by cousins? Because uh, in mine it shows that you're just brother-in-laws. I thought we were cousins. I might have that wrong. No. Uh, your sister is my wife. Oh. You're trying to inbreed our family already? Out of RP? Um, uh, That's quick. Out of RP, I did some research on it. And from what I found, considering a lot of the stuff, like how none of us are like zealous, uh, we're pretty far. No, no, no. It, 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 it was normal. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, no, no. It was just less normal with the um, with the higher up lords. The commoners did a ton. But from what no, I've I, read, I, I, I'm, I'm away. This is so quick. Yeah, All right, no, let's, just... we're, we're hunting this. Let's make sure we do that. Yeah, I was just. So we wait for the arrival of the rest of the guests. Count Urwick has started on the preparations. His gamekeeper checked the highlands. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm at like um. Just because of considering how close we are to Italy, I just no, I'm I'm, I'm fine with it. It's yeah. good. Yeah, uh, Ulrich, you you hunt much? Um, I try to. I'm not. A, I'm a man of average prowess, but through my military education, I've come to respect physical strength. Well, in my younger years, I was taught the lance, the bow, the sword. And I have not used it much. God, God, thankful. We have no reason to fight off foreigners in the, in the times. All right. We're gonna hunt of bison in the mountains. Hold up, you're yeah. at bison? Yeah. Um. Just so you know, the Nushta player, the guy we're now, he has, he, he's playing. He's just coming at the rehouse because he was busy. Gotcha. Yeah, there were European bison. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. We have a player in every single playable county in Switzerland. I know. I know. Yeah. A kinsman guard is crouching on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking lilies. He appears to have lost all interest in the hunt. Count, what a bounty of nature. Look at these plants. Truly the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. Um, oh, he's, now he's trying to corner them. He's leading him away. No, 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 no. My Count's Mayor Adamar is the first to spot the herd. Carefully putting the party into position, we descend on the bellowing beast, separating a worthy bull from the panic group. Count Ulrich takes off after the beast, crying, Come, it's getting away. The exhausted panic animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and billowing in panic. Count Ulrich hefts his spear and cautiously moves forward at the exhausted animal. The beast catches him with a buck. He's pulled away as it bellows in death's throes. That's you, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got that. Yeah. Oh, that was me? Gosh. Damn. Yeah. You you killed it, I think. I think I did, actually. Yeah. Oh, I got 10 experience in Redditor. 92 star slots. That's good. Yeah, we killed a bison. Nice. Yeah, what, what a great bonding experience. <laughs> Kelvin just watching you kill a bison, hell yeah. There. Cool. Well, it was very good to uh, have a hunt with you. I think uh, we should spend more time together. After all, I do not see my sister nearly enough these days. That sounds great to me. But well. regarding your proposal for my daughter, your niece, I will think on it and give you a response in several years. Excellent. As, as long as peace is ensured in our lands, and uh, in the end we better our children. Yes, yeah, the, the, the holdings we hold, you must remember, brother, that uh, we are of no great power. We are in a great empire now, and by working together, we have some hope of being of relevance. Of course. I think that um, considering our strategic location, although the the dukes of Swabia, Bavaria, and other ones uh, overlook our points. I think over time, we can strengthen our land. Yeah, to me, it's always the question of defense. These holdings will never have great amounts of troops, but what we have is great mountains. I mean, look at the windows. You, you see our natural resource? It is in great abundance. Obviously, all these, um, all the, all the, oh my freaking god, a lot of people these things. Um, while all, um, while the Germ while the Germans and Italians squabble, I think in our similarities, even though our lands of the Alps are French, Swabian, Sabine, even Bavarian at times, it's important to remind ourselves that, uh, in our similarity, we must work hard to keep these lands from being controlled by power hungry dukes of north and south 
I agree. If you call on me, I will come. I hope that is the same for you. We will build, and we will come of some relevance. My family, though. I am of one simple focus for now. To see the numbers of my house grow. And if I we mean, can have some manner of inheritance that is secure, we can seek more. Your house is of the ethic on it, And uh, the, the main, I wouldn't, I, I apologize. Um, one of the other houses of the ethic on is Aring. I've spoken to them a lot. I've even, I betrothed my first son to one of theirs. So I think from those times we can build the pond as well. Yeah, Count Gerard. Is that, uh, is that his Devon? Uh, I have uh, my first son, Rudolf, married to the king's uh, daughter of Duke Berthold of Currenty. Ah, the Duke himself. Yes, they are. Uh, your, your relatives are very reasonable people. Ah, uh, they, they can be. Uh, right, if there's nothing else, though, uh, I, I, we have spent much time together, and it is good to speak with you, but um, I, I have my own duties to attend to, as do you, in your home, a Baron. I will visit sometime. I hear the lake there is wunderbar. Of course. We have many... Um, we, have mu we have much grain to bake with. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, send my greetings to uh, my sister. Of course. I'll be heading back. Favel. Alright. Um. I'm trying to think what to do here. We're just not relevant. Like, I could try and get us a marriage with another big house, but it just. It'd be very difficult to get them to agree to it. European bison was almost extinct, but slowly reintroduced into areas of Europe. Yeah, I, never, I never knew they had bison. It makes sense. Yes, yeah, HRE only, Escova. So culturally, what are we? We are... Oh, we are Swabian. Central Germanic, yeah. Yeah, Swiss culture hadn't been really created as a distinct entity so far. Culturally, we're more similar to the South, though, because we were ruled... No, because that wasn't direct rule, was it? We are such, in such a weird place culturally. Hi, German. The Duke of Bavaria would be who we'd really want to ingratiate ourselves with. Because, uh, Corinthia is of our dynasty. The Zeringians of our own dynasty. They're like the, uh, the really powerful one. But if I remember correctly, Werner and the Habsburgs did really well because they married into good families, but weren't in their own family. They were some of the other big ones. So we need to find a way to do that. We've been invited to a tournament. We're really older now, though. Uh, when we're at this age, we'll only go to tournaments if we want something, like to meet someone there or get something out of it, unless it's very close, I would say. We do have a claim on Upper Lorraine, that is true. Yeah. But that's going to be very difficult to do. They're very strong, and fighting women in the HRE is very dangerous. What's up, uh, Valen... Oh, man. Vile? No, that's not quite right. Lee? We go Lee. What's up, man? Large CK3 uh, MP seem like a huge pain to be in. Logistically, they're hard to get to run, but after you're in it, they're really fun. You just need to let things actually like get going. We could train for a tournament. If we're going to go to a tournament and we're going to like gain any measure of respect, we'll need to be ready. And we were trained as a soldier. We're just so bad at it. And then you turn to the right, Valdo yells, while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me feel uh, fall a couple steps back. They won't go gentle on you in the tourney, my lord. If you want to win, you can't afford to lose, not even with me, not even once. We are well trained. Good. We are such a bad fighter, though. It's kind of ridiculous. We rolled so bad for him. So let's change his appearance around a little bit. 
go for like a shorter cut. We'll get a proper beard. The low nobility. We would not have the money for that. They really did add some cool stuff with the DLC, though. Right. Is your character still alive? I do not know who you're playing, so I do not know. I'm going to grab that coffee I completely forgot about. Be right back. Is my Mark Hurricane? Yeah, it is. Think of it the so, uh, some die to tween stool. Oh man, is there an easier name to call you? I will struggle that forever. Chair. Oh, your chair. Okay, yeah, cool. What's up, man? We're gonna go down uh, family hierarchy. Room to rule. We're really focusing on our family and our children. We're trying to establish an actual dynasty that can inherit properly. We have no money. We're just going to administer for most of his life, I think. He's not ambitious. He's just focusing on grading his lands. And we'll see where things go from here. That being said, we're going to need to find a husband for our son. Sorry. A daughter for our son and a husband for our daughter. We did have that offer from Baron, but I will be honest. He's not really relevant at all. And daughters were much easier to find, like, politically useful marriages for than sons so i think marrying to his son or would be really a disadvantage so i want to wait until ida grows up a little bit if she turns out to be very competent we can leverage her uh what you did with your daughters as a noble in this time period to try and get a politically useful marriage um they don't give alliances we have a mod on that removes alliances but it does ingratiate you with another house which is useful so i am going to let ida grow up a bit before we try for that. Otto von Habsburg, our son, is getting older now, though. 
See if we can find him someone more competent to teach stewardship. Nope, definitely not. Maybe we could try and get him to be warded by one of the, the local nobles. Oh. No, not really. None of them are particularly well trained in stewardship. <laughs> not even Venice. All right, we'll just keep educating him ourselves. That's unfortunate. How do you get alliances then? You have to negotiate them. And then you have to do RP with them. In-game mechanically, I don't know how they're planning to do that, though. So for a political alliance for our son, that's the big thing that we need to do. I kind of am leading Piedmont. Uh, the whole region of, like, Upper Burgundy was ruled over by the uh, province, and then I think Piedmont was involved with that a little bit. That's not a player, though. I think that is. Yeah, Count Steve of Leon. Oh, Ryan's not a player. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's stop, but my Marshal Valdo has become bolder. His challenge is no longer passed unnoticed at the council table. He's testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. That's that guy we brought on, the really high martial one. We will temper Gary's cow, so we'll ignore him and steal his ideas. I still do want to go after Matilda, but I might wait to do that with our son. We were invited to a feast. Where is it at? All the way in the Netherlands, Jesus Christ. No, we're not going to go to that. But yeah, let me just go over again kind of how I view this character. So Count Werner is a very capable leader. He's not amazingly competent, but for a Count, he's all right. He has zero education. I'd say he's probably, probably can't even read and write. It's that bad. So he's based, he's illiterate, which is uncommon for nobility, but common during the time period. Our wife probably, no, our wife's even worse. Oh my god, she's a zero and we're a one. We're we're illiterate. Both of us would be illiterate, I think. Um Beyond that, we're fairly capable as leaders. We have established like our own dynasty, the Habsburgs, broken off from the primary one of our house and holding. So in order to establish it, we're gonna need a lot of kids, we're gonna need a lot of heirs, and our wife is not giving us any more children. We're not at the pro the type of person to murder her. We're not going to get anything from the Pope to get rid of her, unfortunately. Um, so we're kind of stuck. That means we need to be very, very careful with who we marry our children to. Because if they die out, that's it. Our sister is already married to the uh, the Count of Bern, and their kids will be of his dynasty. He's a Lindsberg. So we only have two kids to inherit. Can you get a hook on the Pope with money? We could not afford that, and no. Get a court tutor as well. It's worth the, the money. I think it's based on learning, isn't it? Yeah. I'm also saving up enough money to uh, upgrade our holding. We're going to get some farms going so we actually get some taxable income. Because we're very poor. Did someone join? Hello. 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 Yes. Welcome to Habsburg Castle. Who, who is this unannounced visitor? Um, this is uh from uh someone from Angeria, the sister of Angeria. I am from Gattingen, and Countess Hedwig. Gattingen. Uh, forgive me, your title. I'm not used to the signs. Uh, where, where is this? This is in Angria, of Gattingen. 
is the north of Germany. You've traveled far to visit my humble castle. Uh, why have you come here? Wait, where is Habsburg? I forget. Wait, hold on. I'm in uh, Switzerland, uh, the Swabian region. Oh, fuck, I forget. You're in the, the Alps. Look around, mein Gott. <laughs> you, you, you travel so far up in the sky, you do not you realize you're in the too Alps? Far. I've gone too far. I've... <laughs> I, I have gotten lost, I, I see. Uh, oh my god, man. Uh, you, you're very tired from your travels. Uh, you're, you're, you're just German. You, you want beer, yeah? Come sit by my fire. Take a seat. Alter <laughs> you have altitude sickness. That's what this is. Uh, you haven't been up high, have you, before? You, you northern Germans. You've never yes. been up in the, in, the, in the mountains. Take a cheat. The alcohol helps. Take a, take a, take a breath. I'm not a drinker. Sorry? Sorry? I'm not a drinker. Hold on one second. Okay. I I I I have no idea. I have no Oh, sorry. I'm back. But uh okay, do you do you know does that you come attempt to come to my castle or uh why are you here? Uh it's very far to travel. I, I do want to be honest. I do not. I, I do not know where I am. Yeah, yeah. You stumbled into my castle. But I'm, I'm glad you, t uh, it, you came here. My neighbors, they are not as accommodating. You, I will give you a uh, warmth, a bed, beer, uh, venison. You, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. No need, no need. I will be on my way. <laughs> Countess, uh, what, what lands are you from again? Uh, I have uh, a map around here somewhere. Uh, very north, very north. Very north. That's, uh, I, listen, I, I may not be able to read and write, but I can see a map, yeah. Adam RP, uh, did you come in the wrong VC? <laughs> um, I, 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 I thought, because I thought Hasburg was more up north and south, okay? I don't know where Hasburg is. <laughs> no worries, man. I, I thought they were in Bavaria at this point anyway, before I looked at where I was at, so. I'm just trying to marry my daughter to someone, but I think I'm just going to marry it to someone random. You Make sure you RP it, man. Just finding someone who's who's good for it. Maybe you could yeah. RP this out. I mean, it could be that you were, like, looking to, like, you know, get south to Italy, and you absolutely wandered into my castle, and we could get to know each other. Yeah. Up to you. Are you a Countess Hedvig? Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. I own the gold mine. I make m m very good money. Well, do you want to RP or do you want to RP her leaving? It's up to you. Uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm trying to find someone. I'm sorry. No, no, so it's bad. fine. <laughs> the value you always sorry. have a bed in my castle. Safe journeys, <laughs> Countess. Thank you. And uh, look, get the, get the head looked at after, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Good. Farewell. Yes. <laughs> the random northern German Countess has wandered into our castle of altitude sickness. Nice. Where am I? Who am I? What's going on? <laughs> That's actually really funny. Oh, this is deer sided. Oh, no, we still need to save our money as much as I want to go hunting. Um, You can get a hook on the Pope. Reduce costs for feasts. How's that? Our wife's pregnant. Finally. My God, we're going to get a third child. What the death sentence of a lowly thief? I asked my son and heir Otto what he thought. He expressed doubts about whether any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. We're not a zealot, but we're fucking religious, so that's not happening. He must be taught the proper execution of the law. We're a temperate, we're a good leader, so we'll, we'll make him do that, even though it's stressful. The Pope's having a tournament, and we're invited. Oh, we're going to go to that. It's mostly safe to get there. Ah, uh, we can't get there in time. Shit. Getting out of the mountains of the Alps is very difficult. So going to feast will be hard for us. We got invited to a... To a hunt up in Algal. Wait, no, up in, uh... Oh, Bohemia. And then a grand tournament. No, we can have one. Alright, I see. I'm still getting used to these features. I've done one campaign by myself in single player with tours and tournaments so far, so I am still getting used to the mechanics. 
I still can't believe that Countess just wandered in from northern fucking Germany. We do need to start thinking about someone to marry our son to, though. Hmm. Culturally, we'd be used to Swabia, so we'd probably want them. But we're... Maybe Bavaria, too. No, they're Saxon culture. Well, fuck it. Let's go talk to uh, Duke Berholt. He's of our dynasty. Guten Tag! Is this a good time for me to visit you? I apologize. I sent no vetter before me, before I, I came north. I'm uh, I'm actually away. I'm in Bohemia right now. So you, you oh, you're at that met feast? By, by my... Yeah. By my spouse, Regan. Ah, Duchess uh, Beatrice. Your husband yes. is not home? No. <laughs> you had to do it. <laughs> you don't have to do the accent. No. I'm just I'm doing a horrible German. <laughs> All right, no, he's not. He's uh, he's actually he had to get away. Um, uh, do you, uh, how long until he returns? Uh, it is the winter, and I am in no rush to return back to Habsburg Castle. If uh, that's uh, it's okay, of course. Four months. Uh, four months. Nine. Ugh. Uh, I will return uh, by the time we finish this, the summer. this conversation, it'll be one month. <laughs> it's true. Oh, I'll just wait, I guess, if it's not that long. Hey, we'll yeah, take a little Yeah, he's already coming back. Right. Oh, was that a uh, tournament right or hunt? I only got frostbite on my trip. <laughs> you got frostbite on the way back? Yeah. I do love the travel mechanics. They they fuck you over. The one the worst it's, ones when you get yeah. the poison plants event. That's oh, so often. Oh. So I guess oh, out of RP, oh. you've had a, uh, you've had the count of Argal hanging out in your house, eating your food and drinking your beer for, for four months now. Yeah, yeah, that, you'd be most welcome <laughs> to do that. Really, he's just looking to get out of the uh, Alps, as he also was. His family's from the the lowlands of Germany, so. We'll go with that. Ah, we had a son. Second son. Diplomacy. Okay, then I'm back. Oh, guten Tag, Duke Berholt. Hello there. I have waited uh, quite a while. Your trip to Bohemia went uh, well, I hope. So, uh, so I hear, and um, he would lift his hand and show you frostbite on his fingers. Oh. The winter was a very cold one. My my son was born in the middle of the frost. Uh, good sign, I hope. But your hand, it's recovers, yeah? Yeah, whatever doesn't kill you. Makes you want to drink more ale. <laughs> ah, that's something we can both agree on. We are both relatives to Berholtz. I hope you do not mind. I spent the last several months with your your beautiful, lovely wife here. She's a very good hostess. And then she is. Well, well, I came here to speak with you about uh, former matters. My son, he's uh, in need of a, of a wife. He's, he's getting older. He'll be a man soon. The boy is growing up very quickly. And I've... Mm -hmm. Our families are both of a similar lineage. Dramatic families of uh, great disputes. Southern Swabian princes and counts, nobles, must speak together. Yeah. I wish to speak uh, one of your daughters, hands in marriage, a betrothal to my son. If this is something that's would say as a file i think both of our families remaining powerful is useful yeah yes indeed and so uh you haven't actually properly introduced yourself so who's this proposal on behalf of you do not recognize me no i cannot say i do 
Hey, Count uh, Werner, we are pictures with distant relatives. In the book. I have seen you at feast when we were younger. What do you mean? Ah, uh, my family is oh. of no great spirits. I suppose I should have expected that. Uh, allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Count Werner of House Habsburgs. We we share common descent and common house. We are ah. of the same dynasty. I rule in the south and the Alps of uh, the north, uh, the southern region. Um, we are not wealthy like you are. But you hold me, good Titus. Good belt. I do apologize. Now that I have properly introduced myself. Very well. Um, well, it is my honor to uh, greet you in, in our beautiful Freeburg Castle. Um, you might know that uh, Freeburg means. The free city and um we definitely live by that spirit and so to, to see a wandering soul swing by our castle is uh is very welcoming a wandering soul nine you close. misunderstand i have waited months to speak with you duke berhold <laughs> we are kin i seek marriage to your daughter for my son my dialect i know my accent is strong the alps they, they, they change well. it but First, you do not recognize me. Second, you call me wandering soul. I take no offense. Yeah, but... My gods, man. We are kin. Well, well, there there may be one problem. My daughter is only two years old. Well, uh, your result is they already betrothed. I did not know this. I waited yes. months here. Well, I'm sorry to have wasted your time, but... No, it's, it's, it's my mistake. It's, it's my mistake. Well, Perhaps you have um, other children to marry off, or I do or have my daughter. Other, other Ida. alliances. You uh, you have any sons that are unmarried? Uh, yes, my th third son is still to be wed. Well, uh, Ida is in need of a good husband, but she is my my prize, my jewels. My daughter, I love her very much. Perhaps we will speak of such things in the future. I apologize for wasting your time. Look, Bear Holt, I will return home. It's been many, mo many, many months since I've been back. Oh, I um, I hope my wife entertained you well enough. Oh, so that you wonderful, beautiful in. woman. You are blessed. Look, Bear Holt. Farewell. We will speak again one Farewell. day. All right, we just spent five months hanging out, only to find out his all his daughters are married, and he doesn't want to marry his son. That's fine. As an adventure, it's like Uhtred from the Last Kingdom. No, it's, it's vaguely, vaguely German, almost there. Not really bad. It's fine. Bro, ride found out the Duke wasn't there and waited for months. True. We need a wife for our son. He is very calm, but he's compassionate and just. <laughs> so yes, one year old is unmade. We can start the befriend scheme. We're going to do that. Today, Eberhard held a fierce sermon for all the children of the court. They were apparently spelled on by the zealotry read from the scriptures. My son Otto now seems certain he is destined for greatness, claiming God supports him indiscriminately. You got ambitious too? Oh my God, our son is a beast. Compassionate, just, and ambitious. Woo. We need to get him a good wife. Our boy deserves the best here. Just so conflicted over who to go after now. Duke Velf, maybe? Oh, he's zealous and arrogant. Ugh. Piedmont wouldn't be a bad idea. Go find him real quick. We'll go, we'll go bring a transport and go talk to him. Fuck 
que sí. Eh... Oh, I see. He is speaking with the Duke of Lombardy. Our son is very solid. All right, he isn't doing RP. I'm going to start swaying his character, and then we're going to go. We'll just say we're, we're writing letters to him. And then when he is free, we're going to go ahead to Piedmont in Turin. We need to ally or at least try and get a marriage with like a very powerful local family. Again, we won't get alliances out of these marriages, but this is all political stuff, political tools. So, wait for that. What in the world has happened to my daughter, Ida? She is all bruised and beaten. And she refuses to name who did this to her. Was it an older adult, or did she pester a noble to the point of fury? Oh, Jesus Christ. Our daughter got that really bad event. She became paranoid. That's sad. Let's get our son educated by someone competent, too. Good Conrad. Do we? We almost have enough money to build some farming lands too. Oh, 172. It is very expensive. Construction slowdown. Shit, we have it for three more years. We'll probably just keep uh, building up money and wait for that. We know that we're managing our holdings very poorly right now, so we'll wait. Wife is self-interested. We have an okay relationship of our wife. No, we really don't like each other. My gosh. She kind of likes us. We really don't like her. Piedmont player. He hasn't responded. I might go look for someone else then. Let's see. Town of Innsbruck. Count of Mets would be interesting. We're invited to a feast. Where's he at, though? Yet again, Katharina is late for a council meeting this time. I will not let it pass. When I arrive at Katharina's chambers, I do not give her the courtesy of nothing. She's seated at her desk writing furiously. As I clear my throat, she jumps out of her skin and quickly stuffs a real parchment into her pocket. Ah, oh, we wouldn't really care. We'll respect your privacy. Step out. Way up north, we're not going to that. And then we've been invited to one in Salzburg. That's closer. That's in Germany. Yeah, we'll go to that. The Queen's Archbishop Gerbard is hosting a banquet in Salzburg, and it's time for us to depart. He'd be a very prominent religious figure, so politically we'll go to that. Is there a war going on? There is. Lombardy and Bavaria are fighting over Genoa. Already? Just, we're walking past a giant Bavarian army. 
We know what's going on. They're fighting over this mountain region here, Corsica, that they own for some reason. Very odd. Green, you can't name leaders in uh, CK3, unfortunately. As we traverse the woods, trudging through the dirt, we encounter a modest wayward shrine, uh, naively carved. It sports a cross at the head and below the uh, weathered words. Here lies Saint Dietpult of Bavaria, blessed of Alheim. respectful so we'd be respectful of it it's been stowing for days now the road ahead appears completely impassable however as i look ahead i see a small group of people approaching us fast across the snowdrifts use it to be in quite a predicament but fear not for a fair price will help you return to your travels we'll, we'll do it ourselves. and we were delayed for seven days can make a knight's title for you could we with, like, an accolade? Oh, we could. Yeah, if you want to name a knight, you can do that. That is true. Accolades does allow this now. It costs prestige, so I'm not going to do it. But if we do an accolade soon, you can choose the title for that. I think we missed the feast. Yeah, so we mar we went through the, the Alps to try and get to the feast hosted by this uh, this bishop. And we, we got we got stuck in a mountain pass when it was snowing and didn't make it in time at all. It's unfortunate. The fields of Zurich are a sight to behold. Every crop in bloom, every leaf green, every stem luscious. I quickly tracked down the source of the Verdancy, spotting a man standing in a field, seemingly holding a lecture of some sort to gathered listeners. My name is Master Andreas. He noticed me in the distance and turns in my direction. My knowledge of gardening is vast, yes incomparably vast so stay a while and listen but well, we didn't make the feast so we've got time might as well and we became a gardener we apparently hung out for like a couple of days maybe a week and we learned gardening on our way home we didn't make the feast but we picked up a hobby at least something good came out of that that ill ill-gained voyage or ill-gained travel That's cool. We're gonna we're gonna show people around our gardens when they come to Zurich. Or I apologize, BL. The character died in a duel at a tournament. Fuck. Hey, you gotta be careful with those duels. Hint villain. This character is very cruel and significant and be more likely to harm others. Really? Because we're callous. Damn. We're in line to inherit a duchy of Verona. Does anyone control it right now? Nope. How many... We're not above murder, I guess. Our character's really not. Uh, but the other guys are players. I'm not going to murder them, so. They're all players. So we were completely ignored by Piedmont. Oh... Uh... I mean, we are a minor count, to be fair. If we're really underhanded, we might start actually doing some very violent stuff. I think what he would do, though, we're so irrelevant. And we don't have, like, a duke or a king above us. We're right, we're directly a vassal of the Kaiser, so we have very limited options here. I'm gonna follow Eclupsi. I like how dangerous traveling is now. Can't for my characters to have some Frederick Barbosa moment. Yeah, true. Count Werner. Guten Tag. Yes, greetings. I am Adelaide, the mother of Duke 
Pierre of Piedmont. Ah. Welcome for you. Uh, greetings. I had uh, sent many of us to uh, Duke Pierre, and I had uh, intended to travel, but you come here to Castle, Castle Habsburg instead. Or yes. am I mistaken? Uh, we can roleplay where you just traveled here, but that's sure. fine. Well, welcome to uh, Castle Habsburg. I'll show you around the gardens in just a moment. Uh, I had intended to speak with the Duke Pierre directly, um, but this is fine. I'll cut. Yes, he's currently bedridden, but ah. he leaves a lot of the affairs to be, even when he's in good health. I see. Well, I'll be honest, I wish to get to know him better, and, uh, that's his, uh, said, I have a few, few people to play, uh, to play, uh, man, what's the medieval game? Was chess around right now? Probably. We'll go with chess. I was hoping for a game companion, but, uh, Regardless, I'm I'm very sad to hear of his poor health. Regardless, I am also... I did wish to speak to him about the possibility of finding a wife for my... For my son. He is about to come of age and he is in need of a good wife. And I know that Pierre has many daughters. He does. What would such an arrangement... How would that benefit the House of Savoy? Uh, the House of Savoy would, uh... Gain a friend and ally in the north. Our, as you know, the passes of the Alps are very hard to pass. And if you had a friend here, you would have safe passage over them forever. As well as gain a strong ally. Not just in the region we own. I know my lines are humble. You traveled through my holdings. You know we are not rich. We are not powerful. I have no great levies to hold. But my family is influential. And you're a house that is very much up and coming. As I said, you're... Son has many daughters, and to he does arrange one of the more later born ones to my son is you sacrifice very little and could gain very much if my house rises far. The Zaringians are influential, and I do have some connection with them as well. But your uh, your, your your people have traveled all the Alps many times, and you have found many difficulties. Would it not be good to have a family here that is always willing to allow you passage? Well, we control much of the mountain passes ourselves. Yeah, as the seven ones. I can see the. Yes, I can see mm -hmm. how such an arrangement would benefit us. I did. How I had hoped not to put it in uh, such straight terms and get to know the Duke better, but, well, I will be honest with you. You seem like a woman who likes uh, things very straight. Yes, that seems fair enough statement. Well, would you be willing to trove Otto with Ermesinde? Which one's Messinde? Uh, the second one. For me, it says it's Air. Oh, Air Messinde. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, seven, seven years old. Betrothal last. Five to six years, and then they would be married. Yeah, that 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 is agreeable. Good by, to hear. By, by one condition would be that uh, when the Duke is better, that uh, I do be given leave to uh, visit him. As I said, I am seeking a partner for a game that has taken hold here, and uh, here he is a intelligent man. Yes, I'm sure he will enjoy meeting you too. But this is uh, this is very fruitful. Um, you will be given accommodations to, uh, if you drink. Uh, I will give you some of my finest beer uh, before you return home. This is a good arrangement. And as soon as Zook uh, Pierre is better, I will take a trip south. Sure. Are you a wine drinker, my lord? Uh, it's, it's good, but not as strong as German beer, yeah? True enough, but... Well, I know your uh, your ancestry certainly prefers uh, French wine, I'm sure. French and Italian, yes, yes. Mm, yeah, uh, the taste is very pungent, very good, but uh, good good German beer. It it gets you where you need to be after a long day, you know. Well, to each their own. Yeah, yes, indeed. But uh, I, I, I can look around. I don't know if we have any vine storage. Um, 
One, one moment. One, one moment. Virgilin! Do we have any vine? It's the cellar. Check the cellar. My, my wife. One moment. So we do have an old, old vintage. We can, we can give you some of this. In fact, you can take it home if you like. I believe it's a uh, Germanic beer. Uh, sorry, Germanic vine from Bavaria. Uh, not as good as the southern vine, but you may, you may enjoy it. Thank you. It suffices. As Perhaps I said, it will, it will not be like the French wine you're used to. Of course, but mm. perhaps next time we speak, I could bring you a bottle of my finest wine. Oh. I've had uh, Italian wine several times. Very good. Um, yeah. So that, that would be lovely. I can get you some proper German beer as well. The good stuff. I drank, I think we drank most of that. Well, well, very well. Is there anything else you wish to discuss? Nine, uh, every, everything is, is good. Uh, as I said, I do hope that your son self improves and I can speak with him in the future. Yes, very well. Good. Well, safe travels home. And later. Thank you. Culturally, at this time period, wine wasn't very popular in Germany, was it? I mean, like, it was drunk, but I think beer still was, like, the primary thing. Does anyone know? Yeah, chess was around, I thought so. It was just in a very different form. I know the tactics for it didn't really develop that much at this point. We'll wait a little bit before we go south. I'm trying to save up enough money for farms, but it's so hard. Yeah, beer still is. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's very big in Germany. Very big in the U.S. too. I mean, really. Oh, that came from the German settlers here. Like, wine is drunk a fair bit in America, but beer is way more popular. All right. We're 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 writing more letters to Duke Pierre. So we did get we will get a betrothal to his second daughter, which is good. That's completely fine. There's no great alliance with it, but it does get us in a better position with his family. German wine culture started in 200 A.D. I know German wine culture existed, but wasn't beer culture much bigger? Could be wrong about that. I'm gonna Google it. God damn it. I'm gonna... Uh, medieval Germany. Okay. In the early Middle Ages, mead, rustic beers, and wild fruit wines became popular especially among the Anglo-Saxons and Germans, but wines were made the preferred beverage. Really? I thought it was beer. That covers the southern regions, too. Germany. Bear with me. No, wine was the, the the mainly drunk thing at this time period. I did not know that. This is right before beer culture really took off because they they had better methods to produce it in mass. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just a really weird count in the mountains of Switzerland who really likes beer before it's popular. <laughs> are we are we a hipster count? Are we a hipster dramatic count? Is that what this is? We only like craft German beers, so we don't drink wine like the rest of you. We're invited to a count, uh, to a hunt in Frisia. No, we're not going to go to that. Alkerki is a game that was played back in the old times. So chess wasn't big yet. Let me look up Alkerki. Strategy board game. Oh, I've never seen that before. It's very popular in the medieval period. Originally a, I think, yeah, Middle Eastern game that, that took on. It's apparent to checkers. I see. Okay. Cool. Our son has come of age. Otto von Habsburg is 16. He became a fortune builder. Fuck yeah. We're going to make him our steward.
Beautiful. My god, he has some severe baby face there. Come on, son. All right, we're going to take a trip down to Piedmont. We're going to, if he's free, and we're going to play a board game and introduce our son to him as well. We'll take our son, too. So think of it for Mennonite. I did not see that earlier. If he is not RP, no. He is RPing. And yeah, there's a lot of people around here. We are managing to sway Duke Pierre a little bit, though. So we'll wait until he's done. Let's take a... Let's, oh my god, he's in jail. <laughs> All our neighbors are very busy right now. Who else do we have? We need to think about who we want to marry our second son to and who, really, we want to marry our daughter to. I'd hope that the older she get, the more likely it would be that she would be... Uh, she would become... What's the word we want to go with here that's, like, not going to be as horrible as what this is? More, uh, more marketable. We'll go with that. That doesn't sound as bad. I was hoping our daughter would become more marketable, but I don't think that's the case because she's paranoid and sadistic. And she's really fucked up. She got wounded, I think, because she got beat by that person earlier. So we might want to try to marry her now before she gets older. French culture. Yeah. I'll be a uh, crane. Oh my god, he has no children. He probably deserves it, to be honest. She probably killed a dog or something. All she needs now is the cool trait. She's becoming a fucking villain, that's for sure. Part of the family. We're becoming a patriarch. So conflicted for our daughter here. I mean, you want to have an heir who's not married. Fabio would be possible. They're actually not that much stronger than us. of worms mm -hmm. there's a there's unmarried members of Bavaria we're just so lowly as the thing is like RP wise there's no way to justify a lot of these Oh, hello. All right, I know who we're gonna go talk to. If he's free. Oh. Wrong VC, I apologize. He has the same, almost the same profile pick as Schlob. Here we go. Out of RP, are you cool for Diplo? Uh, yep. Tao, Count Gerard! Uh, I'm afraid Mr. Gerard is not, uh, not here right now. I would happen to be Nine? his great court uh, bishop, Robert. I would be happy to leave a message. He has gone off on a hunt. Oh, no very. I I've traveled several days across the mountains, I can wait. Uh, is he hunting? Oh, you went south for the hunt, I see. I can't get there in time. Well, no worries. 
It'll be 52 days until he's back. Are you out of RP okay with uh, Count Werner hanging out for two months in uh, in your hole in Geneva? Uh, yeah, sure. Because to get back to his own holding would probably be close to a month, realistically, in RP, and um, then to get back. So yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's about like 40 days. He's so. he's getting very fond of drinking other people's wine too, so um, I think we'll go with that. Wait, oh, is he coming back right now? Uh, he is coming back now, yes. Okay, cool. I wish they'd had a feature where you can, like, meet up with people who are traveling, too. That'd be cool. Would have been useful. Yeah, true. But they don't build I a think strategy. Actually, I think, actually, I was going to approach you, but I had no reason to. Uh, because I think you were at the same banquet as me in oh. Salzburg or something. No, I got delayed. I tried to get to it. I got stuck in a mountain pass in a snowstorm and got stuck there, so I didn't even make it to the feast. Oh. But I did learn. I did stop for a week and learn gardening on my way back. <laughs> uh, Garod actually has a pet duck because of that, 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 that traveling. Yeah, we but we both gained very valuable uh, hobbies, I guess. Keeping a duck. Is that a hobby? I don't know. Close enough. I Is he back so. yet? Uh, out of RP, uh, Count Werner has been very much drinking his way through your wine stores when you get back, so you'll know that. We're gonna have to import more from France, damn it. <laughs> True. My look at look at my wife's face. Look look at the aggressive eyebrows she has. Some fucking mean mugging. And, and... Those are the eyes we get when we come back and haven't been there for two months, and you know. Now he's back. All right. Guten Tag, Count Gerard. Oh, bonjour. See, uh, Geneva has been lovely. The wine you have here is very good, almost as good as Argal beer. Um, I've waited for over a month for you. I hope. The trip south to hunt was good. Kids, I had scored some great game, although I had not kept it. It was a very delightful experience. Ah, uh, well, if you like see hunting in uh, in Italy, you come visit Habsburg Castle. the The area is uh, not far like your your region. There's plenty of good game in the mountains, the Alps, the forests. You have to come sometime. Yes, perhaps, uh, perhaps I did. And I've, I've heard in the months I've been here that you, uh, you have a very high, uh, standard for, for uh, roast venison, which we can, uh, very much get for you there, yeah. But, uh, uh, I'll be honest, I've waited a month now, and I wish to put it to you very plainly. The, the region for you are in, it's much weaker than the rest of the Empire. And my, my daughter, Ida, she's in need of a, a husband, I know that... Your son, Amon, is unmarried. Yes? Indeed. Uh, I've heard very good things. I think he would get along with my daughter, but also my son. He's, uh, your son is an ambitious one, is he not? Indeed he is. He has uh, even traveled many, many, many miles. I'm upset. But, uh... Who is this? Nassau? Oh, it's an AI. Never mind. Um, ah, what did he go with you when he went south? No. Uh, no. He stayed behind. Nine. With my... 
Okay, so I, I, out of RP, I would, I would probably have gotten to know him while I was waiting over a month then. Uh, well, I, I know your son, Val. He's a, he's a good lad. I think your son and mine, they could get to know each other very well. And I think that's perhaps if you were to marry my daughter, we'd have much in common as we both... Uh, the, the mountains are a unique place. We, you may be more Franconian. Your vine is good, but not as good as my beer. But I think we have much in common. And I think our houses could do well to work together. I am a... Of no great distinction. The Zolvringians a uh, much higher breed, but us, we have very little. And uh, I need no disrespect, but I know your house is much the same. If, if I may ask, uh, <clears throat> your uh, proposal here, mm. is there something that you are seeking to, to ha perhaps gain out of this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I want to, me and you, Count Gerard, to get to know each other better and to cooperate on all matters, political or otherwise. The Empire is a, is a great thing, but it is very... The Emperor's eyes are not everywhere. And we must watch each other's back. So I don't expect military, a military alliance. I seek no dowry for my daughter, but rather for our houses to glow together. I will only have my son to inherit. And he will be the only one to carry on the name Habsburg. My daughter, as you know, will be of your dynasty. With such a thing, I believe you are in a similar situation. We both could see our dynasties die out if we are not careful. And I pick my friends very closely. And Count Gerard, I think you could be that. What words I have to say of our dynasties dying out has very touched me. My wife, you see, God has recently bestowed upon us a tragedy. My wife was pregnant, but our child is all but lost. The prospect of losing my dynasty is not one that I am very fond of. I must say, your uh, your proposal here is uh, looking to be even more appealing. Thinking about uh, such events. Consider this, Count Gerard. I have a Sea Mountain Pass. I have a castle that's going to hold many a siege. Neither of us have great holdings. Alone, we will come to nothing. But together, the House of Geneva and the House of Habsburg could do very well together. As I know, our, both of our sons will seek great status, or higher status than we have. No humble roots. And if they were to have strong friends, and capable ones, well, we could achieve much more, don't you think? Our generation will not be much more than this, but our children, we must always seek something better for them. Yes, I do. I do happen to agree with your sentiments. Count well. So my daughter will come of age soon. We could betroth them and host a marriage at the time that they come of age. I'm sure she will do her duty and bear many children for your dynasty. I hope so. I will agree to this match. Good. In a sign of goodwill and as a sign of what is to come. I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, I will, uh, we can, we can write up the marital agreements. What we do, uh, come Gerard, are you, uh, you would like games? Do I play, uh, I am um, an avid player of chess. Oh, chess. What about uh, Alkerki? I don't know how to fucking say this. Alkerki. It's like early checkers. Uh. I can teach you it if you do not know the game. No, it's not a popular game in my, uh, in my county. Very well. I've, I've a board. Ah! Yeah, she, uh, perhaps she, uh, she can join us. Games. Perhaps so. Although she may be too busy uh, with her husband. She is a great wife. <laughs> I don't know up here. You just... No, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that's fine. Uh, we can play together. Then I I must return home. It's been many many months since I've seen my my wife, my son. 
I sent you the event for it, but we don't have to do it. That's fine. Um, no, 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 I'll do it. I think it is interactive with players now. Let me see. It is. It is. Yeah. What are the stats on your guy? Uh, oh, you have really high marshal. marshal. Oh, we're going to play chess. All right. <laughs> yep, he plays chess. Alrighty. Well, uh, let me see. I have, a, I have a very good move. You know, they say, they say Marshall. Martial skill has an effect in this game, but I don't see it. I think the trap says you've asked some effort. I've beaten many of my own courtiers. I should get up a screen to play speed chess at the same time. <laughs> Actually, oh, but... just pull up chess.com. Yeah, for real, though. Okay. It's, been it's, it's been... Hmm? It's been... It's been meeting you. I've drink... Very great. Keep talking over you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm finished now. Very well. Uh, we'll turn this the game, and I think I will return home and speak to my daughter about her marriage. Uh, do you wish for the marriage to be done in Geneva or in uh, in BL? My son, he loves to travel. I'm sure he would be very grateful for me if I am to host it in your county. Very well. So this can be done. Uh, my daughter comes of age in three years. At the time, I uh, travel with your son to Biel, and we can have a great uh, wedding there. You are very good at the game. This has gone on for a while now. Ah! My guts. Damn it! You play very well. I will say that. You play, play very well. Count to that. As I said, I choose my friends very carefully. I expected nothing less of you. It has been a pleasure. Your vine was wunderbar. And I promise you I will give you some good Argal beer when you come to the feast. Hey, I bid you adieu, Count Fred. Favel. We lost that game. That's fine, though. Everyone keeps trying to betroth our daughter. Let's uh, actually betroth to his. Here we go. I'm unironically gonna... No, I won't do that. It would be kind of fun to get up a game of speed chess. If we have plenty of time with people, I might do that. I gotta take a piss. I'll be right back.
Who knows where he goes very soon? Well, it's still Bloody Pump. Alright, so our son will be married in four years. He is also a profligate. Compulsive spending, despite having 21 stewardship. Nice. I guess confider, too. Oops, sorry. No, you're fine. Invited to Count Bonifico's hunt and salute, so. Eh, why not? Actually, no. We finally have enough to, to actually expand our holding in BL, and we'll build some farms. Farms and fields. We've, we've waited years for that, so we're not going to spend our money. We're instead develop our farms up here in BL. We're actually making this land farmable. It's good to be back on PC. Hell yeah, man. Good to hear it. Ian's money to spend money. True. Confines in whom? That is true. Who is our son confiding in? Does he have friends? He, he has a lot of friends. Our wife, the Duke of Stairmark, who is a player, probably will go with him. Where's he at? Oh, he's way over in Bavaria. Our son's out here making friends with Bavarian dukes. All right. Um, Count Bonifico, who's a player. Oh, we're headed to his feast. Maybe it was the player who joined our VC. Hold on, let me go find him. Saluzzo. Where's the player at? his name right he in salute so I don't see him in the in the discord maybe not in it Cunio, I see him um I, I've been places. I've been places. I've met a lot of new people. Now I'm. I can say I'm a different man, but who knows? Hmm. Are you lot all here for the hunt as well? I, indeed, I am. Fresh from my journey to the Kaiser's throne room, and uh, freshly seeing the light of God. Mm. Guten Tag! From the pomp of the Kaiser's court to the grand and open fields. See, hunting here is good, I hear. Yeah. Yes, we are going after a bear. A bear? <laughs> dangerous intentions. Rather, rather dangerous? Play beast. <laughs> Poor, I'm a really bad hunter, too. Um... I thought this. I thought this was a deer hunt. I mean, you, you, you can leave any time. No, 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 no. Uh, Count Verde is no coward, but I, I buy a bear. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wish I could see <laughs> I wish that the religion mechanics were better. CK two, I could have remained a secret kappa. You converted. I converted to cat my, my my father converted to Catharism, and then I converted to um and then I remained to Catharism and then was forced to convert back by the Pope, the entire army of oh, Bavaria Jesus. and the Kaiser. You consider this recreation in the South hunting bears? Um from time to time. Well you might want to stay back and just watch. Oh, I believe uh, the, best, the beast is killed. Count Bonifacio just got the bear, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Our character just cost Bavaria 300 gold trying to RP with me. 
What? <laughs> keep a 2,000 stack army outside my castle for the whole thing. So, Cat Werner, I was sorry that I missed you earlier, but it is good to finally meet you in person. Uh, good to put a, a, a face to the lettuce. I've enjoyed our correspondence. Yes. Your mother is a very intimidating woman, I'll be honest. Yeah, she... Ooh, dear. Rehost. Damn. Unexpected. She, uh, she cuts straight, Susie points. Uh, very, very intimidating woman. Yeah, she scares me sometimes, but she's a good woman and rules well when with the tasks I give to her. To be honest, I've rather faced that bear again on the hunt than your mother. I uh, hope she's not around. Excuse me? I said I'd rather face the bear, less intimidating. My, uh, <laughs> uh, my language. Your language uh -oh. is uh, hard, hard on me. It is no worries, but yeah, honestly, I think she'd be happy to hear that. Oh, she seems she like the type. A kick. <laughs> I think you and her would both very much like my son. More, uh, more of that type. Our correspondence, uh, you talked of playing games. So the rest of you play uh, chess. It's a game I've, I've taken to very much recently. Never tried it, to be honest. You've never tried it? Uh, I brought a board with me when we're done hunting bears. Oh, if any man will, uh, would wish to show his, his force, of, force of mind. Oh, I'm always Could be fun, but mm. I would prefer a good joust, to be honest. A it's joust? It's been too long since we've had a tournament. You southerners, you like your violent recreation. Ugh. Call it the fridge in me. Fine. They're fighting and jousting. Very, uh, different culture than my own. Hey, sorry to interrupt your RP, but please join the stage event we are rehosting. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, my. my... <laughs> we're, we're such an unmartial character, that's the funny thing here. Like, we were, we were in way over our head fighting a bear. It's funny. All right, we're going to rehost now, so um, we'll be back in probably in 10 minutes or so. The hunting is reworked. Never thought they'd do that. Yeah, the new the new recreation system is really good. Yeah, we're yeah we're hanging out with bigger nobles. They're all counts though, but they're like they actually have titles and money, unlike us. We're just like the poor bumpkin from like the Swiss Alps, is what we are. I mean, our family is very like prestigious though. To be fair, the Zeringians in the north are very prestigious, and we'd be associated with it, but. Like, we're also, again, just like a bumpkin count from the Alps, so. Who likes beer and chess? Ooh. Oh, the mega rehost. But I also want to take a look at this. Who who would be the confider with our son? I'm going to roleplay him out a little bit, I think. Um, I don't know if we can send him out to do things, but we got to figure out who he's confiding with. Because our son is very capable. He's very charming. He'd be very well liked. I'm also not going to do the accent with our son. We'll say in the RP that Werner has a very strong accent because like, he came from the north and he was raised with only one language. Whereas our son would be more multilingual. And uh, I won't do the horrible accent with our son, so he'll sound like a reasonable noble and not... We'll say the accent's just because Verner's a fucking bumpkin. 
we're fucking illiterate. You have to remember that. Verner is so uneducated and, like, backwards. It's kind of crazy. I didn't realize that. The stats we rolled on him were so funny. I mean, his stats aren't bad. It's just, like, one learning is crazy. We can barely speak German. RP in Burgundy. Trading wars. A lot of stuff's going on in Italy right now. Oh, Matilda ended up marrying into Angria. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we missed here. So Italy is doing a lot of internal fighting. We've seen that. A good number of wars. Annex keeps posting these statements and these really cool things, but it's so hard to read them. That's fine. The big the big politics really don't concern us quite yet. It'll be our son who will really get involved with them. Your grandchild's a bastard, really? But we'll start to include ourselves in imperial politics when our son comes of age, because he'd actually try to get above his station. We will not so much. I was oh, I was in the middle with a, 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 a fight with a Magdeburg when, when 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 the pagans came to raid, and I was so tempted to go, to go smack them down, and then I see a Bohemian army going to chase them. They don't have time to check for myself, but I get the news from Account Upper Lane, the Duke, which my daughter is having an affair with. <laughs> Fuck. You mean the lustful one, right? The one who is busy taking care of her husband or something like that wasn't the quote. Yeah, you're you're incredibly lustful, daughter. Nice. I'm very happy with how our son came out. It's funny because our son came out so good, and then our daughter came out so bad. Ironically, a better daughter is almost more useful for marriages, but we'll see how this goes. Imprisoned her for it for a time and then she was bailed out. I'm going to imprison her again. I'm having trouble connecting, and so are other people. Oh, boy. We did play with a couple mods for this, and I was a little worried about us doing that, to be honest. I tried to get us a mod pack mod to work for CK3, and I put a bunch of time into that this week, and I couldn't get it to work properly. 
I know a little fairly well how to mod Vic, but CK3 I don't know how to mod. So we had to do like mod load order and all that stuff. And that can be so unstable, especially with CK3. Just how it is though. Yeah, this might be slow here. We definitely need the rehost. Like 10 people dropped. Bear with me. I'm trying to catch up on all the RP. So civil war in Hungary. And big games like this, it's so difficult to keep up with everything that's going on. It's not the most important for us. But we would still know a lot of the big things. Eastern tribes are uniting in the north east. I gotta figure out how to read Mannix's fucking thing here. One second. There we go. Okay, I can read this. So hard to read. All right. It looks like the big thing that really happened was that war between Bavaria and Lombardy, and there were a bunch of trade wars going on in Italy between Venice and Genoa, is the main thing that's been happening. So, nothing too crazy. Just a lot of internal politics and then a little bit of minor fighting. You can just click on the image and it will zoom perfectly. Sounds good. Hmm. I'm tired. I stayed up late editing and I spent way too much time. I got into, someone linked me, have any of y'all seen the Vinland Saga? I haven't watched anime in fucking years. I watched a bunch of it when I was a kid. Like, in high school, me and my buddies were, we weren't like obsessed with anime, but we watched a lot of it. And I just stopped watching it for years, because I just, I don't know, a lot of it I couldn't enjoy. But someone sent me, like, a clip from the, from the anime, the Vinland Saga, and I was like, I don't know about that, man. And then I watched it, and it was really fucking good. So... I've been been watching the Vinland Saga, which it's, it was originally a Japanese manga about the Norse Vikings. And it's really fucking hardcore and fucked up, but there's an anime for it that's actually really good. I assume that there's no way in hell a Japanese manga artist could write a good story for Vikings, and I was very wrong. I was completely wrong. It's very good and sad and hardcore. It's enjoyable. No, it's it's fucking good, but it's it's like problematically good because I've been staying up late watching the fucking thing when I have shit to do, which isn't good. Well, that's always a sign of a good show when you get into that. I haven't had that happen in a little while, but that's a good one. Yeah, it is. It's it's very popular actually now. I just always I still had that conception in my head with anime just kind of being. I mean, there's really good ones for sure, but a lot of it it's not like childish per se, but. I feel like the demographics for a lot of animes, especially the popular ones, are for younger. You can enjoy them at any age, but I just kind of had that in my head. It's really good, though. Fucking sad. Makes me want to play Norse and CK3 is what, it wants, uh, what, what I'm getting from that show, primarily. Babylonian woke up. What's up, guess? How you doing? I can recommend many good animes. Yeah, I know. There's plenty of good ones. I know there are. So I've avoided getting back into them. It's older than I thought, too. I still thought it was a recent thing, but it came out in 
like, what was it, 2019, I think? I've, I've seen, of course, the famous GIF of when he's running on land in his boats, but... It's funny. You have uh, literal anime figures and posters. Uh, you're Okay, so you're deep into anime, then. That's fair. That one's really good. The ones I really loved as a kid, what, what were the ones I was obsessed with? I really like Code Geass. If any of y'all have seen that. Which is like... I think like Britain formed like an empire over the whole world and Japan's like fighting against them and there's like mechas and shit. Uh, that, I really love that one. I watched that like twice. What's the other one I really watched a ton of? It's been so long since I watched anime. A decade, really. There's another one I was just obsessed with. I remember the name of it. Hoagie was the one me and my buddies always used to watch together. Because, you know, I, I played strategy games, and it's kind of strategy, I guess. That's a very generous statement, but it's in the similar vein. Yeah, I watched Death Note. I didn't love Death Note, but I did watch it. That was good. I don't know. I was never into that one as much as some of the other things I watched. It's the other one. God, it's been so long. I don't remember. Nope. Been so long. I watched Naruto with my brother. I never loved Naruto. My brother loves, loves, loves Naruto. So I watched that with him, but I never really got too much into that. Plus, catching up with those shows is crazy. Like, remember when my brother got me into Naruto? It was like, oh, you need to catch up. And I was like looking at the episode count like, ah, uh, I don't, I don't know about that. And it's even worse now. I mean, that was so long ago and there's so many fucking episodes of those things, which is cool. Because one of the biggest issues I have with Western television, or I guess not issues, one of the things I, I always find sad is, like, there'll be a great show, you'll get, like, three or four good seasons, and it just gets fucking canceled every time. That's not true of anime. That shit will go on for, like, a decade, you know? So you have lots of it, but... I feel like it's one of those things you have to really immerse yourself in. So I never caught up with Naruto. Name your Habsburg child Thorfinn. Oh, no. That's sad. Don't do that, man. Come on. Don't do that. The meta of us playing a strategy game in a strategy game. True. Chessception? It should make a mod where it pulls up a real chessboard when playing chess. That'd be fucking cool. You know what they could literally do? You know what would be a good fucking mod? You know how chess.com and other sites will have those things, right? Where they give you, like, the puzzle pieces where, like, they, they show you a board, right? And they ask you to give, like, the optimal uh, position to move your piece to, right? Instead of having a full game of chess modded into CK3, just throw that into the game. So they'll pop up a chessboard on the screen and give you 15 seconds to choose like the optimal chess moves. And if you succeed, you have a chance of winning and you just do that three or four times, right? So instead of playing out a full chess game, you can still kind of play chess, but for time's sake, you literally just have to choose the best moves. Like throw the puzzle in it and then do like a mini game for chess. That'd be fucking sick. Cause that way you get to kind of have like a little puzzle in the game but it doesn't require you to play like a five minute game of chess, right? That'd be fucking sick. I'd do that if they added that. That'd be fucking cool. Chess stream though. Dude, I'm not good at chess anymore. I used to be very good at it. I'm not anymore. I just watched uh, Subasa and didn't even know the concept of anime back then. I don't know what Subasa is. Is that another anime? I haven't heard of that one. No, but like how cool would that be, right? Especially in multiplayer. Instead of playing a full chess game in the game with another player, <laughs> You just both get pop-ups for optimal moves, and you do that until someone doesn't get it, right? That'd be fucking sick. That'd make the game more fun. Playing me, it'd be a three-hour game. I always played speed chess when I played it. I always used timers and stuff. Me and my buddies in college, we played chess, like, all the time. We'd smoke weed and play chess. That was, like, what we always did. For years, really. Playing, playing chess while stoned is not nearly as interesting, but it is more fun. Long time ago. Tavern games devs get on it. Yeah, that would be cool. But like like ones that aren't going to just completely take forever, right? It needs to be like something you can do very quickly. <laughs> chess stream, but you roleplay all your pieces of backstory. This pawn right here, the one in the front, front, front right, that is a, a collection of militia spearmen from the county of Biel in Switzerland. Now, they're very untrained, so if I attack another pawn, I'm going to roll a d20, and if it's less than a 15, they're going to break, and I'm going to destroy my own pawn, just because I think that fits the immersion better, is what that is. 
They, they, they just lack the discipline. So they might not even win against the pawn, I'd say, honestly. I watched a little anime, a 2000 anime, it's mostly for children. Inazuma, 11, Beyblade, Bakugan. Bakugan anime hit different, just saying. I used to have a bunch of Bakugans. Like, I forgot that existed. They were so janky, though. They give you, like, the little Bakuban balls, and you have the cards, and, like, they activate them popping out. Oh, man, it was so, so weird. Beyblade was fun. Beyblade, you could actually have full-on battles with, and they were very enjoyable. I remember when I was, like, nine, and my buddy got, like, this cutting-edge Beyblade where supposedly the controller of it, like, had a little wheel on it, and it allowed you to, like, spin the Beyblade in the direction that you wanted or something. And I thought he was, like, his he had he was, like, really rich, and his family had lots of money because he had it, and he didn't. But man, I remember Beyblades. I had so many of those. The anime for it was so overdramatic, too. I mean, there we are. You have Photoshop or something, so you can add certain unique pieces, like changing the color of some pawns uh, to red for a revolt. Yeah, you got you automatically roll a d20. If it's under two, your your pawns revolt and they become enemy pieces. So, yeah, true. Beyblade was the shit, man. Oh, I actually like had a lot of duels with my friends with Beyblade. I played that when I lived in Scotland too. It was really fun. You remember, I had like that giant orange fucking arena that they had for them. Are Beyblades even sold anymore? I, I bet they've been outdated for like a decade or two. Yeah, Subasa is kind of uh, like an anime for children. It's about football, so probably not popular in the US. No, I wouldn't say so. There we go, we're finally loaded. <laughs> Use your treasury to buy new knights. Yeah, I lived in a really small village in Scotland. The population of the village was under 100. There were five kids in the village, including me. They're all around the same age, though. It was weird, though, because I was American. One of them was from Southern England, and the rest were very Scottish. So it was a really weird dynamic. Because, you know, Scots are very xenophobic as children. I mean, everyone's xenophobic as children, but... It's so weird. But we all played Beyblade. We all played with Beyblades, so we had that in common. And Pokemon cards, that was everything. Alright, we're back in. Xenophobic children, too. No, that's what it was. The village was three Scots, an English kid, and me. I was friends with the English kid when no one else was, because the Scots hated him more than me. <laughs> Like he was, he we, we used to. I go to his house and play PlayStation Two because that's what he had. We'd hang out, and all the other kids hated him. So I think I was like his only friend, even in school. I think, and then they tolerated me because I was American. It was really weird though. That was a weird time. Uh, Hamu hot tub stream. Wait till the end of summer when I've when I've like worked out properly. That then it will actually be enjoyable. I mentioned the English kid playing with a stick pretending to be a knife to shoot to Scott's. Uh, he just played PlayStation 2 all day. I had a PS1, so I just used to go to his house because he had, like, the good shit. He had, like, Lego Star Wars. Y'all remember that shit on PS2? That game hit different, just saying. And then we used to play, uh... Oh, man. What was that other one? One of the racing games, too. Whenever I played with the Scottish kids, we just fucked around in the woods and fought each other. That's about it. actually saved one of their lives that's a funny story i don't know if, i think i've told that on stream before one of them uh one of them was this like really small kid and he was a fucking asshole kyle is his name he he tried to bully me but i was two times his size so i beat his ass once and he didn't anymore but like this one time it was in the middle of winter and we always used to like there were a bunch of forests near where i lived in scotland and we go we go out and play together like three of them and one of me and um I don't know how he got it. He got like this golf club and a bunch of golf balls this one winter day. And we went out in the wood and he was like hitting golf balls. We all were doing it. It's just fucking around. And one of them got hit out onto like this really big, like semi lake pond thing, which was obviously covered in ice. And uh, we'd run out of golf balls. So he wanted to go get it. So he had the bright idea to hang onto a branch that was hanging over the pond, right? He was going to hang on the branch and walk out on the ice and get the golf ball. I'm sure you know where this is going. And he got out there, and the branch snapped, and he fell through the fucking ice. And he didn't know how to swim, I don't think, because we were really young. I was like eight or nine when that happened. 
And I was the only one who would climb out there to pull him out. It's fucking ridiculous. And you know what the worst part is? He kept bullying me after that. <laughs> that was the crazy part. I pulled this dude out of the fucking pond when he fell in, when no one else did. And that little shit kept bullying me for fucking years. Some people, man, I swear. That was a weird day. One of those things when you're a kid, you don't understand, like, the gravity of the situation. I don't think any of us did. I don't know. Because he was actually in very serious danger. I don't know. It was weird. It's weird to, like, know you, like... I don't know if I saved his life, per se, but he was in real bad shape. And then the man keeps fucking bullying. It takes a special kind of person. And Kyle. Man. Childhood's so weird, dude. So fucking weird. Inferiority complex. Looking back as, a, as an adult, I know that his parents did fight a lot. He had a really toxic household. That's probably what it was. You don't understand that when you're a kid. I do kind of feel bad for him as an adult. Yeah, no, kids are fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, his name is Kyle. I bet, he, I bet he drinks monster energy drinks now. I moved away when I was nine, so I didn't get to really fully grow up there. Viking chess. I played it before. One of my dad's friends has a board of that, and I played it with him a few times. That's a fun game. It's all about protecting your pieces and, and maneuvering. I'm not good at it, but I played it before. What the fuck is the name of that thing? Yeah. That fa felt fear? I don't know how to fucking say it. I can, I can bring it up real quick. Got a picture of it if we're not starting it. Or not. Yeah, no, this is a really fun game. I played this before. I really actually enjoyed it. Try to remember the rules of it. I know it's all about protecting your pieces and maneuvering. It's almost like checkers and chess combined, if I remember correctly. And you've got to, like, get your pieces to, like, get on the corners and guard them or something. It's a really good strategy game. Like, it's really fun. I haven't played it in forever. Can you play it online? We've got a minute, right? Yeah, we do. I play with an AI because I really don't want to play with a player. I'm going to create the Austrian Empire in Argyle. I really do not see that happening, but it's always possible. Try to remember the fucking name of the game. How to play this. <laughs> I think so you have to get your pieces on the corner and guard them. Like, you have to get your main piece to the corners. Two players, the king side versus the attackers. Yeah. There's twice as many attackers as defenders. The attacker side moves first, and they take turns. You move any number of vacant squares along a row or columns, like the rooks. All pieces except the king are captured if sandwiched between two enemy pieces. So you have to surround them, basically. Yep. The piece is only captured if the trap is closed by the aggressor's move. So, like, you can move in between them. The throne square... If the king reaches the edge, the king has escaped and won. Yeah, it's it's really fucking cool. All right, let's see if we can... Uh... We're playing black, so we're defenders. So he goes first. I think. <sighs> can I start the game? Firefox hammer? What about it? You can see my browser, right? 
I'm not just like doing this to a back black screen. How do I get it to start? All right, fuck. I'll just go play a game on here while we wait. All right. Let's do. Uh... Oh fuck! The game started. All right. Maybe I'll do this after stream. Rip. All right. The hunt is over. A bear claw. And a... Yeah, we gained experience as a hunter. And we will go home to Argao. Let's look at our sun again. I'm also going to go down into BC. I will end, end stream today with a little bit of that game. It's a lot of fun. And I want to show it to y'all. Because y'all love strategy, I know. So, uh... I mean, you play Paradox games or watch Paradox games. So you'll enjoy it. I'll, I'll do a little bit of that. One second. Yeah... Because now, so now, now is Bohemia a player? Lucky. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Fearless, lucky. Yeah, because the AI changed succession type and then uh, okay. he, he crashed. The AI changed yeah. succession type and then uh, he died, he died mm -hmm. and the title was given to another player. Yeah, okay. Uh, Drunken blah, 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 blah. Taboo, I see. His, his, uh, the player just released the nation, so Frederick can come. They're dealing with some issues, that's fine. And we're going to drip down into VC. No, but that game is really fun. I will stream that uh, a little bit at the end today. Uh, if the team becomes checkmated, the player is out. All remaining places remain on the do uh, board doormat. They lie as dead fossils without even a descent burial and the useless government they won't support it. <laughs> Fuck. You know, uh, it's a good game. Like, I think it's interesting because chess teaches you abstract long-term planning right chess is all about understanding the moveset you have the pieces you have what they do uh creating traps and doing long-term strategy on an even playing field what i like about the viking strategy game is it does not give you an equal situation right it's, it's a situation where it teaches you to make the best out of not having the advantage which i think is interesting because that's a very different skill set to build, right? Fighting a battle or dealing with a situation on equal terms, I mean, skills are different, but the pieces you have are the same. It's a very different situation when compared to fighting one where you have a disadvantage and are trying to survive. And I, I think the difference is really cool. Like, if I ever have kids, I don't know if I will, but if I ever have kids, I'll definitely try and teach them to play chess. And I'll try and teach them to play a few of our games. And that Viking one has always been one I, I had in the back of my mind on that list. Because I think games, you know, play for children is teaching them skills, right? Of any sort. And I think that sort of thing is good. I always thought about that. Kind of interesting. All right. We're having issues with Bohemia. We might be here a minute longer. We can look at our sun while we wait. So I'm going to turn down the CK3 music, because that shit is blasting. Yes, chess is a wonderful game to learn logic. I mean, uh, I, my, my parents taught me chess when I was young, and I'm very glad they did, because I enjoy it a lot, and I learned how to play it. I think it did teach some basic skills. Chess does have benefits for playing it. Our son... The daughter of Count Guillama... Count Benefacio Cuneo, Duke Adalbero of Stairmark. So we need to choose someone that we're going to confide in, basically, is how this is going to work. So there's someone who Otto is just constantly going to go to to talk about all his problems. I think we need to be someone near us because he's not going to just go travel to Austria all the time to do that, right? So who would be the person we choose for our son? Hmm. Could be his mother. Where's she located? Oh, that's very close, actually. At long last, I'm finally home. Wonderful. I think that makes sense. Our son could easily get down to, uh... 
with sand gone uh very quickly who's uh crypty cryptius let me go look for him no i don't i don't see him all right we're gonna make his confider his mother we'll just do it the simple way then our son is constantly combining in his mother his sister fuck no no they're so different our, our son is compassionate, just and ambitious. Our daughter is paranoid, sadistic, and also ambitious. They both, like, want to do a lot in life, but their personalities are so different. Unless it's one of those things where they both have minor respect for each other enough that they can look past it. But I don't, I don't think that's what that would be, to be honest. We will just say he's constantly confiding his mother. I know what I'm going to do. Hello. Oh, hello. Come I am, uh, I am Otto von Habsburg. I am the son of, uh, Count Werner. Ah, well then, Mr. Habsburg. Hello there. Good to my wonderful tyranny today. Yeah, thank you. You will find my, uh, what language do you speak? Hold on. We're not we using the French. fucking UI. French. You'll find my French to be much better than my father's. And uh, me much more educated. I promise that things will be a little bit easier to communicate. I came here, uh, in truth, Count Gerard, to speak with your son. Uh, as well as, uh, uh, to, to speak with your son. Very well. I'll call him into the room immediately. Oops, of course. Hey, Whoa, Eamon. It is, uh, good to speak with you. I've heard much from my father about you. He he said we had much in common, and, uh, I always do wish to, to get to know more of those who dwell in the mountains. I also hope, if you don't mind, you would allow me to improve my French a little bit while I'm here. We, oui, indeed. We do not uh, mind at all. I, I came here to speak with you about this, but also I have another matter I wish to speak with you about. Eamon, I have heard that you are a man who seeks more in life. My father was content with his titles in Argyle, but I am not. Is it the same for you? Indeed. I'm a man who wants to expand my family's name so to speak. We have been cooped up in these mountains for a long time. That is true. As uh, as have we. I, I have spent many a day. I've traveled much more than my father. I, I believe you met him last time he was here. If I am frank with you, he is a man who he enjoys his beer, he enjoys his garden, and he enjoys his castle, and very little else. I struggle to get him to leave his lands. I tell him, Father, you must leave and seek better things for our family. He has not even visited the Zorangians in years, but no, he does not. So I will do it in his stead. I hope, uh, hope that was correct in French. But I do wish for more, and I am the only one who will bear my name, Habsburg, as I believe you are the only one who will bear your name, correct? Indeed. My father has gone off to travel to Bern, and from there he will be going to speak with the Kaiser himself. Oh. On the matter of his daughter, who, uh, my, my sister, who bears the name Geneva as well, but we believe her actions are not fitting for one I have uh, heard of the actions of your sister. She is a uh, proclivity towards mischief, to put it lightly. Very much so. And I do not believe my father, nor the... Holy Spirit's watching over us. Approve at all. Nor do I. And it must always be the case. If a crime is committed, she must face the consequences, regardless of her station. 
We we hope that you do that in Geneva, like we do in Argyle. Yes, indeed. And even if my father is less harsh on the law, I'm a man who believes in believes in what is right. Of course. Ooh. And I know that about you, but you also seek higher higher means. I feel as though we have much in common, the both of us, and I wish to talk to you tonight about it, and I will be very frank with you. And those I like and consider friends, we have not met yet and do not know each other well, but I like to be strictly honest. I view it as the right path at all times. My holding, which I will inherit when my father dies, is a minor one. Our lands are poor, our holdings weak, but I want more. And I know that there are titles above mine which no one holds. You know, the county of Argyll, of course, which is where I hail from. It is not impossible for a duke in the Upper Alps to find some holding. And I wish for it to be me when I come of age. Though I do fear I will have competition. Are you seeking to perhaps raise your titles or conquer another fellow county of ours? I don't know what it will take, I'll be honest with you, but I know that I will not sit upon my laurels like my father, and I will seek more. And I think a higher title would be one achievable in my lifetime, with the right friends and with good rule. Something I su uh, suspect you will do as well, Eamon. Or am I incorrect? Indeed. I do wish to... Perhaps even expand the the influence of chivalry within our, our region as well. Chivalry? Uh, what do you, what do you mean? The translation man. is rather odd. Uh, I'm not sure I understand. Honor. Glory. Ah. What, what do we have people, without armor? Indeed. The people around us are simply too content with having a, a simple commoner's life. But you cannot be anything significant to God or to any man without honor. And I must say, the people around us just do not have that. I have met with many of my colleagues in Italy and across in Bavaria and Bohemia. And I must say, none of them quite have the spark that uh, you would hope for. We all have our own values and our own differences, but I agree. I think the thing missing in much of the Empire, the Kaiser, he rules well. I like the man myself. I've never had the privilege to meet him, but I know that he is a competent man and a capable one. But I find that the lack of authority from high or low means many areas vary in terms of the quality of rule. And I think the mountains especially could become a place where good rule could be had. And I think that we need someone stronger to rule here in order to make that happen. I know you are more in the, the hills, but high up in the reaches of the Alps, we lack a central ruler, many small ones only. Indeed, we do. Well, I've not spoken with many of the smaller rulers. I do believe that, uh, that there is much more that can be done, uh, as same as you with the region that we live in, the Alps. And while we might be disconnected by culture, our same religion, Christ, connects us all. Of course. Our religion is what binds the empire together. It is a holy empire, after all. But what of your own ambition, Eamon? I know you are not the man to not have plans of his own. I know we are not close enough for you to tell me your whole life's plan and story, of course, but I am curious. What do you seek after in your life? We are both young, and we have much we can accomplish. I seek to expand my family's name upon the Alps. Well, perhaps even past the Alps. Past the Alps? I've been eyeing up many, uh, many counts that I have uh, visited in Italy and in... Uh, and in, in many other far places, including in mm. France. And if I must, some of them have piqued my interest. 
And I believe that I have perhaps piqued their interests. I see. It is my goal, perhaps not to expand our titles, but to expand my bloodline across the Holy Empire. For Geneve has always, for the last eight decades and beyond, been a more or less irrelevant house in our city has been an irrelevant city. But that is no match for the sheer number that we could have. This is true. You mean, uh, I hope you mean through marriage vows only, Eamon. I... Indeed. Well, of course. course. Good. <laughs> a misunderstanding. The language came across uh, in a rather different way. I wish to clarify. Yes. My French course. is not, as I said, the best. Of course. You wish them to have many they... children and to, to find good marriages for your daughters and your sons, then, is what you mean. Indeed. Hmm. And of course, the, uh... I myself am in betrothed to your sister, of yeah, which I am are. sure will bear many great children for the, the name of Geneve. Uh, Eamon, I, I do wish to comment on that. I, I also did come here for a warming. My, my sister is a formidable woman, and I think you will get along with her in some ways. But I also do wish to warn you, she's a very intense woman. And you may find yourself surprised with her force of will. I, we've talked enough. I know you're clearly a man who holds his own principles and is very capable. Don't get me wrong. But she's not like many Christian women. There is no... What's the word in your language? Docility? She's not a docile woman, you understand. Indeed. Uh, but... There has never been a man in my family to back down from a challenge. There is also not a man, I suspect, in your family who will be married to a challenge for 60 odd years. Eamon, I say this to you only to make you aware of your situation. I hope that you two get along very well. I love my sister dearly, but be warned. She's an intense woman. I'm sure you will have many children together, of course, though. I thank you for your warning. You're welcome. But, uh, I understand. I also wish that many children of my own. I am betrothed to a daughter of the Duke of, uh, Piedmont, of House Savoy. Yeah, you, you know them. To your south. You border them, yes? Indeed, I am. What, 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 do you, have your father spoken much with Duke Pierre? And do you plan to work closely with the, uh, of House Savoy? My father has not spoken to Duke Pierre much but if it is anything to go with my mother i believe house savoy could help us improve our our prestige in the world my mother was a very prestigious woman even more prestigious prestigious than my father which is unusual for a woman of this uh, this empire but nevertheless your mother was of their dynasty correct indeed she was we both have common bond then with House Savoy. I think the the three of us could make for a a very capable future for all of our houses. Duke Pierre is still young, as are both of us. If we were to work together closely, the Counts and Dukes of the Mountains could make for a very capable group. And of course, uh, Count Ulrich in Bern. He is family after all. I have not spoken with uh, uh, Count Ulrich, and I believe my father, however, had just uh, just traveled there for a feast. I'm sure they spoke. I, I will say, I was there when uh, he asked to betroth his son to my sister, and he named a very insulting price. I don't believe my father has forgotten that, but uh, I held no such qualms personally. Well, forgiveness is a great virtue. It is. I will not rant to you all day. I appreciate the chance to learn French better. But, I wish to make it clear to you that our generation can do much for both of our families. If either of us die, our dynasties will be will be gone, Eamon. I think we both see that as an issue and wish to have the fruits of our name go far in the Empire. And I think we could do that together. Indeed. I look forward to working with you during your uh, future reign. 
as do I. And before I leave, I will say it again. Uh, prepare yourself for my sister, for she will be an intense woman. <laughs> I'll do my best to, uh, to sing high praises of you to her before the marriage. Thank you. Of course. I'll return home. It was good speaking with you, Eamon. Farewell. Have a safe trip. I have RP. She's batshit crazy, so good luck. Oh, yeah. I, I looked at her personality traits. <laughs> <laughs> she's batshit crazy, man. So yeah, she's, that'll she's be fun. Sadistic. I'm, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun one. No, she's not just sadistic, man. She's a paranoid sadistic woman who is a great oh, eminence. She's schizophrenic, too. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I would say great. my guess would be like just extreme bipolarism uh, with, with at least sociopathy. I'd say at the very least, that's like the low bar here we're looking at. So, well, uh, the House of Geneve is uh, is no stranger to execution. So, <laughs> you might not fucking kill my sister. But, but yeah, um, yeah. So good luck. She'll she'll be interesting. Uh, I think they get, they can get married now too, right? Um, I'm not too sure. Go ahead and uh, right click on her and see if we can do that. I can hold a feast. There oh. we go. Uh. Break betrothal. Is it 18 arrange now? Marriage. Yep. I can arrange a marriage. Yeah, okay, let's just, we'll do that. And I'll hold a feast in uh, Argyle then. Unless it automatically does one. Okay, they're, ne they're now married. Correct. And then I will hold the feast. Oh my god, that's expensive. Yeah. Fuck it. Is it truly grand if there is uh, no amount of uh, money spent on it? It will make... Uh, oh god, I have to find your, your ruler now. What's the, what's the leader of your country's name? Uh, Gerard, the second. Did I not do it He's for coming him? home right now from Bern. He got ah. bored. <laughs> yeah, the, the party there just didn't stop. I noticed that. Yeah, it's been like three months. They were just vibing. I mean, I, I know my character loves to drink other people's wine, so he was just like drinking Ulrich's like cellar dry. Yep. I don't have the option to do that. Um... Oh, there you go. No, he's on. The old, the older regencies I'm gonna have with with Eamon, He's gonna have like eight hundred thousand prestige by the time, by the time he's he's the count. <laughs> Because he keeps leaving. Yeah, that system's a little broken. I've noticed that. It is. There you are. Kent Gerard. I'm going to make you the honorary guest. And then we'll do... That. We'll do exotic food. And we'll do a two-course meal. And we'll start the feast. So this will be for... Not used to this menu. There we go. Sweet. All right, so this is the, like the marriage feast between our families. This is when you get to meet my batshit crazy daughter. exciting that's one word for it i really hoping we get an event where she does something crazy well it's invited i'm gonna jump in my own vc in case other people come i'm not sure who will show up and who won't oh do that may just be us in, uh, in the Count of Geneva, but you never know. There we Gerard showed up. Countess Regenlin showed up. And Ida. Very few people. That's fine. Let's see what happens. Oh, we be I befriended my daughter. She's literally a treacherous villain. Both of my children also are profligates. They all spend too much money. Yikes. Hello there! 
Hello there, Count Buena. I have been invited to your feast, and I have finally arrived. Guten Tag, welcome to my Habsburg castle. It's very good of you to come. This is for the marriage of my, my beautiful daughter, Ida, to uh, the son of Count, uh, Count Gerard of Geneva. Uh, an affair worth great celebration. Oh, lovely, most lovely. I hope they have a very splendid marriage with many sons. And... I'm sure. Yes. And... By the way, I must say, Sorry? I must say, I'm proud of my son. He's come a long way from his uh, bumbling days. A great ruler, I'm sure he will be. He had taken a leadership position in his childhood. My son, uh, when he returned to uh, Biel, he spoke very highly of Eamon. He's, uh, he's a good lad. I do have a yes, chance indeed. to meet him. Welcome, Duke Velf. Welcome to Habsburg Castle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you for the uh, invite to the feast. Of course. Thank you, and indeed. welcome, welcome, Duke Bertrand. We are here to celebrate the marriage of my daughter to the son of the Count of uh, Geneve, Eamon. Uh, may I ask, did you, have you seen to it, uh, may I advise that you ensure that your doors are well, uh, lubricated? My doors are well lubricated? What do you mean? Well, the last piece we, uh, got stuck, if you may recall. Or at least the last piece I Oh, you mean out of RP, do you mean the one in Burned? My, me, yeah, my, yeah, my, 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 my semi-cannon, my, my head cannon is that we literally got stuck. Because <laughs> yeah, we didn't leave for like four months? Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. You know, what happens is uh, Duke Ulrich just really likes drinking companions and he locked the doors for two months. <laughs> but. I think my part of you that we literally got stuck and like we were in that beast hall for just that hall for months. Well, I can promise you that I will run out of uh, beer and vine far before then. Um, so no worries there. You know, I, I know. Have, uh, brought some, uh, I, I, brought, I, brought, I brought some from my own vineyards as a uh, gift for you. Ah, very kind. I do want to raise a toast to Count Gerard, a good friend and a uh, a man with good taste in, in vine. You've gotten me onto the French stuff. Very good. So good. Indeed. Yes. Here, I must here. say, we French know how to uh, how to make our uncle. Very strong. Very strong. Of course, I would say that um, that it is the Ossetans who truly know good wine. All, all matter of wine is good, but never as good as beer. I, I'm happy. And in honor of all who have come to this feast today to celebrate, I offer each of you a barrel of the sinus brewed beer from Argal. I hope you will remember it as a token of my thanks for coming to such a glorious day and great feast. And may the house of uh, Geneva and the house of Habsburg remember our vows. Yeah. Yeah. I will be beneath Thank you. So Used well. to a long lasting relationship. Good with you. Count Garad. Mr. Pot, I must speak with the Kaiser. Well. Fuck, that was 120 gold. They're so expensive. When you're not a count, this is way easier. We spent like we spent like three years of savings on this feast. Was it worth it? Probably. Like feasts were so important that it's time period for prestige. <laughs> what is our son friends with? He is very powerful. You physically cannot show up. Oh, I see. Okay. You're stuck in the feast forever. Yeah, that's a bit of a theme right now, isn't it? All right. So we're friends with our daughter. She's gone off to Geneva. I think, obviously, our house and house Geneva would be very close at this point. Our sons are friends, and our daughter is married to his son. So. Oh, yeah. We're both very small and very weak. He is stronger than we are. We're so fucking weak. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Hmm. 
Mm. I think we're gonna make a hunting ground. Because like the Alps were like really famous for having really good hunting, right? And it's it's a great place. And we're very undeveloped compared to a lot of our neighbors. So we'd have a lot of force we're just like not using. So uh, let's let's build a hunting ground here, honestly. We'll set aside a large region of forest near BL and we'll have a great place for taking over nobles hunting. So I'm gonna train some more. You never know when we might not go to a tournament. Well trained. We'll go pet our dog too. That feast was apparently very stressful. Good doggy. We are irritable as well, by the way. So we gotta have tantrums once in a while. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I'll be right back. King Philip of France and I find two dogs after a while in the middle of a play fight. This looks like Nosewise is having much fun. So apparently we stumbled across the King of France in the same place and our dogs like became friendly with each other. We just got to know the King of France. It's a weird event. Where the fuck was that even at? How did our, our dogs run across to each other both in the Ile de France? We'll just... It's for a feast. Yeah, but we weren't at a feast. We'll just go if he was vacationing in the Alps and doing some hunting, and we, we encountered the King of France somehow. Yeah, we'll just go if they were getting to know each other. He doesn't want to befriend us. He naturally doesn't really like us. That's such a weird event to get with that person. Alright, well, we encountered the King of France, I guess, and... Our dogs were getting to know each other. That's such a weird one.
the feast event I literally just had to happen to me. It's so weird. What's our council up to? We haven't done anything for a while. Our son is working on developing Biel. We're actually developing farmlands in the area. We're developing a proper city around Habsburg Castle in the area a little bit. You gotta remember, we inherit we took these lands very recently, and we're probably like the first administration that's been there in quite a while. And the Magyars also did sack like this whole area, so we're kind of really rebuilding, if anything. Our development is very low. We'll put Conrad on foreign relations. What's our daughter up to? How's she doing? Oh, she seems all right. Hmm. We don't really have any enemies, so there's no one to go get secrets on. The Magyar sacked uh, Switzerland, didn't they settle in Hungary or something? Yeah, but they sacked Switzerland like a way, like a, 50 years before the game started, I think. From my research, at least, that's what I read. Mm, oh, we're fine, actually. Or Diplo. We get like no stress game from our friends now, which is really cool. How's our youngest son doing? Heinrich. He's rowdy, callous, and he's reclusive. Let's find him a new guardian. He's not really developed very well. He's just that second son we basically completely ignored. We're too busy just drinking beer and hanging out in our garden. I will do it ourselves. William of England's feast. We were invited to a hunt with Ulrich. We'll go do that. Gotta go find his fucking VC. Greetings. Hello, Count Ulrich. Hello. This is a uh, good hunt. It's good to see you again. I'm a beast. Well, the last time I did a hunt, I was fighting bears in in Italia. This is uh much better. Hoping hunting deer, I hope. Uh, we'll have to see what game is available. Well, if there's another bear, uh, I think I will stay behind in camp. Yeah. Uh, I'll make sure that it's not a bear just for you. Uh, you have my my thanks. Oh yeah, out of character, uh, Chair, if you did notice, uh, your Chancellor just gave me an implicit claim for your land. You should probably get a new one. For my land? No, uh, Chair's land. You should tell me. Oh. My kids have a claim on, on your land, I mean. Oh, because we're related, yeah. Yeah, it's your sister, so I'll probably have to do some RP before I can start fighting you. Greetings. Guten Tag, Bobby. How are you doing? We're doing well. This this event is much greater than the last feast. I was stuck in the building for multiple months because no one wished to open the door. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were stuck for quite a while. I think what happened is someone just didn't do an event, and I just got stuck there. All right, do we go for a roe, a wolf, a fox, or a stag? Stag? I guess we'll go for a stag. Yeah, I believe a stag would be. My fellow lords of smoke. Quite fulfilling for us. A stag it is. Um, we will proceed by stealth. God. You're gonna try and take down the stag again. Um, I'm probably uh, most decisions I die. Um, really? Yeah, one I have 30 percent chance of dying, 29 percent chance of dying, and then one I have 90 percent chance of my son dying. So I'll just go for him. 
Uh, perhaps I can redirect this to Stampede. Okay, I'm alive. Oh, my son died though. God damn. Oh, your, so, yeah, your your third son. This. Yeah. Time to become a drunkard. Yep, the <laughs> you missed hey. you missed the stag too. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, my son died for nothing. Apparently we've got antlers though. And there goes the Zelda. Uh, Count Warner, you should you should come to burn for the night. I wish to speak to you. Oh, of course, I'd be happy to stay this night. Uh, you have a very good vine. Thank you. So then, goodbye. Goodbye, the rest of you. Great events again. Truly, the game the game of the Alps is magnificent. I'll be direct with you, Count Warner. Well, I know you are reluctant for a marriage. I do think negotiating an alliance we would be best for the both of us. Hmm. Ah, uh, I do think that's maybe vice. The seven counts and dukes, they've been moving and fighting a lot recently, and you know, we are not a strong county, nor are you. What are the terms of this defensive agreement? Yeah. I think it would be best if we simply agreed um, that if anyone attacked either of us, uh, we would help the other. And for any offensive war, we simply discuss the discuss. That is agreeable. I think it would be vi uh, very wise to have some measure of defensibility, though I would say if any of the southern lords march. There's nothing we can do. Of course, I have, I have allies in Corinthian brain. I, I mean, I, in theory, would have the same. They are members of my family, though I don't know if they would ever march. Duke, uh, the previous Duke did not even know my name. Oh. It is sad to leave the greater house. And of course, my house is, my house is its own dynasty. It's very small. My, my, like your father, my father before me was not landed. Yeah. Some something else I'd like to discuss is uh the New Chitellians. Um I think uh, New Chital. Uh oh, my Chital. son speaks much of them. Uh, I don't the subject I've heard too much of it. But what 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 do you wish to speak of? The The New Chitels are simply a nuisance. Uh when I had to deal with their father or his death, that man was a sodomite and and a fornicator. I have very little respect for them. I think in the future we can capitalize off their weakness. I agree, but the question would be who? You sound like my son. He speaks constantly about this. I can barely get away from him. And how did you tell you? Oh, my son speaks the same as you. He speaks about the dishonor of their family. The poor state of their cities, and the need for new rule there. I think he fashions himself to be a count there. I have no great army, and I do not wish to seek it out, but he pushes me. If, Push. if you are willing, I can call, I can uh, see what my allies think, and I may march on the new Italians and, uh, and then I may... Nine, 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 nine. It is, it is. This has not been very long. My son also will seek this. You have someone else you will contend this claim over. Well, if, if after the conquest of New Chateau, we can convince the Emperor to grant one of us. Um, Out of RP, have you done RP for this yet? Uh, I will. I just want to... I wouldn't, cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Out of RP, control. in between sessions, I'm going to be RPing my son. My son also is going to go for it because he's ambitious. And yeah. we both will have to do RP for this, just so you're aware. Yeah, just to no, clarify just, Come. Uh, like, uh, my dude wouldn't declare war, wouldn't do it if no one else is backing him. Yeah. So that's, uh, I, like, I need, like, your, your thing, the, like, your express permission to say, oh, yeah, we planned. The thing is, RP wise, I, basically, there's no way my son wouldn't be pushing me constantly for the very same thing, so. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Out of, out of character, I'm like, uh, what I'm trying to say is like, we try to get uh, Transuranian to just give it to him. Try and get who? Transuranian, the Duchy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been trying to say in character. 
For your for your family or my family? Uh, now would have to be negotiated, of course. Okay. Yeah, I think we're both after that. My, our, our both of our current generation is like not very ambitious. Because yeah, you're you're a, you're a shy recluse, I'm and I'm just shy. basically a, a a drunk who hangs out in his garden all day. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't yeah. even I won't be able to go to the, like the second or third session. So. I'd really I really want to get Transurano done. I'm in no rush to get there, man. I, I had planned for it to hang out until I got a ruler who would, like, do something like that, to be fair, so. Yeah. You can always say your, your son nagged you, nagged, nagged you so much. Uh, well, I, I've been RPing as my son, and I plan to just keep doing that until, like, he got some people together to ever pressure my character, or if Verner dies, it'd be either one. I mean, yeah. Technically, Otto is the one who's on the half streaks anyways, so. Yeah, he is, he is the very capable one. Yeah. But yeah, no, that sounds good. But it's just, uh... We'd speak about it, but I don't think either one of our... I mean, your character yeah. nor mine are the type. Yeah, we just we just I, fuck around. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's just trying to get, like... uh, like, It's kind of like a, like a game of chicken. Who's, who's going to do it first? Yeah, true. My ears are... Horrible. It'd be our children who will push for this, though. It won't yeah. be... My second yeah. son is a good steward. And same with my... Uh, third, and same with my third son. Actually, no, wait. Oh, no. The son that you, mean the, you mean the dead one in the hunt? No, no, no. There's, I have a son of 13 steward, and my de the dead one had 19 steward. Ship. Yeah. What's my son have? He's, I know he's pretty capable. Um, He has 19 stewardship. He is a profligate, though, so he spends all his fucking money. Yeah, that, that always sucks. He's, he's got negative 50 gold. Fuck. Oh. But yeah, so out of RP, I, I get that. We're both going to go for I just think it makes sense for us to wait till the next generation, or yeah. we'll have to do a lot of RP about how the fuck our kids convinced us to do this shit, right? We'll just RP playing chicken. Like we just we just visit each other every other month. Just be like, hey, you should you should start doing it. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that often. My my character is really just not gonna want to do it. I have been RPing my son going to talking to people, so that's how that will come about. I think for me at least. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, like I have a claim on Mission Kill somehow. So. How did you get a claim a, on it? Um, I got I also the claim in Geneva somehow. I don't know because I had to leave early, so I I think I just I think they just have really bad um. Uh, What's it called? Uh, what was it? Diplomat? Is that what it's called? Oh yeah, ch chancellors. And so I just got the claims. Huh. But I know your buddies in Geneva, so I would never go to there. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We're very he close to Geneva. Geneva's probably gonna end up being a sodomite if he actually does any male sex before he dies. Yeah, we we don't we don't know his sexuality though. Yeah, this no, is what I hate about CK3 is it gives you all this information and you can make decisions on it when you would have no idea. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. What I'm really true. annoyed is that um. Ulrich of Mushatel died before I could uh, attack him after the excommunication. Yeah, for sure. Because I, uh, uh, I went to the Pope. I, was, I, uh, I said to the Pope, yeah, you should excommunicate him. I convinced the Pope. Then I went to the Kaiser. You should do something about this. But he died before anything had happened. Oh, yeah. That's how it is. You, you'll start to build a relationship with characters and they just fucking die. Um, but uh, out of RP, I, yeah, so I think we'd, we'd both talk about it. My character for sure would just be like fucking annoyed. And uh, with the whole situation, not with you, well, probably he's irritable. He'd probably snap at you about it, but he's been pressured by his son, so he's just like not willing to have the conversation. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, um, we we do not need to speak of Nuchtal. It's a sad state of a city, a sad holding for a sad counts. I know you like to drink, Ulrich. I do too. All about instead of this talk of. Our son's ambition. We uh, we 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 have some beer. Yeah. Of course. The, I've been thinking about building some. Uh, sorry. I've 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 many, I've many fields uh, of wheat to make beer from. And so the beer here has been oh, especially well. That's good to hear. I'll definitely want to try some of your your um your alcohol when you're done with it. I have recently planted my own fields. No easy task to clear proper farmland in our gal, but uh. It'll make for a better quality of ale and, well, of course, bread and all all such things for my for my subjects. When uh, when we get our first crop in and have some made, I will be happy to send you some. I know you'll make good use of it. Of course, I have uh, I've heard of the new hunting lodges you built. Uh, oh. the hunting will come as well. Is that secret has gotten out. It's just supposed to be just for me, but. Yeah, there's a very nice forest near Biel. It's oh, the game there is so good. I've I've taken down many of a stag before uh, when I was younger, but I'm sure my son will make good use of it. The hunts in my land are well simply because um, in the very barony of Thun, it's incredibly mountainous. 
So even mm. especially for Falcon, it's a, it's a great challenge. Oh, birds, the disgusting creatures. They shit everywhere. Mm -hmm. at, le at least, at least they taste fine when you shoot them down. That's I can agree with you. I I had dove before. It tasted very good. I prefer venison myself. Birds are okay to eat, but to keep them, it's a mess. Bleh. Much easier. Dogs are better. I have a, I have a dog back home. Much much better than birds. I hunt Person too, you know. Personally, uh, the, the the game I eat only tastes. To taste, sorry, the game I eat tastes much better when I hunt it. I've, mm. I've become a, a much better venator over the years, even though my arms are weak. You sound like uh, you're still a youth, Count Ulrich. In my young days, I thought the same. Now, mm, if I can stay in my garden and have it prepared for me, far better. Indeed, but uh, we have been here for a time. I wish to return home very soon. Uh, we'll stay up tonight drinking together. I'll return home in the morning. Of course. If your son continues to nag you about Nushital, uh, send him to speak with my own my own son. Uh, they can they can talk about such things. Uh, my my son is nagging me. He is he's not exactly uh very sane. We'll see how it works out. Oh, it sounds like my daughter. <laughs> uh, she's the she's Chum Gerard's problem now, though. I love her. No. She's, she's a good 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 girl, but ugh, oh, yeah. that girl drove me crazy in her young years. Yeah, bad can... bad shit crazy, you know. You know how it is, yeah. Yeah, and my my condolences, obviously, for your sister who died ten years ago. She will always be forgotten in her heart. Uh, of course, of course. Yes, she does. Uh, well taken care of, I know. Of course, I. I heard the best, um, physician, but the disease was too much. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's how it is. No, 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 we drink, we drink, we drink, be, be happy, I will be on good terms. Farewell, though. Count Ulrich, it was farewell. good speaking with you. Farewell, Werner. And I will have that cask of, uh, of, of ale sent to you, too. Very nice. I'll be waiting. Good. Yeah, I don't want to rush the War of Expansion yet. I know our character wouldn't do it. Our son will go for shit, but. There's a mod that hides sexuality. Yeah, there's. The, the, uh, is it a separate one? I know there's that really cool mod that also hides stats and stuff like that. And no, there's been no Holy Wars yet. No Crusades called. I don't think they actually can happen for like another 20 years or something, right? I think there's an event. Which we're not quite ready for. We are going to take a trip. Who the fuck is Nick Prime? Um, Alberto Stair. That's so many people with similar names. Doing fun with RP characters, insane characters? Yeah, true. I kind of wish we got RP as our daughter. That'd be more fun. It's batshit crazy. That'd be fun. I'm trying to find where this guy is. Duke Heidelberts. Where's this player? I found him. Hello there, I'm Otto von Habsburg. I'm here to speak with uh, Duke Adelbero. Well, uh, do you wish me to leave, or can I ask this? No, of course not. I, I hope I was not interrupting. Uh, well, every moment with me is important, but uh, you are free to take his time, I suppose. <laughs> just so you know, I'm not trying to be an asshole. If I do be an asshole, my character is just a... No, 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 you're fine. Is an arrogant, No, 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 role play a character. Be a, be a total cunt. Come on, you know. This is good RP. <laughs> He's an actual fucking... Are you, are you one of the counts of uh, Stairmark? No, I'm one of the counts of Austria. Just... Oh, I see, okay. Oh. Let me find him real quick. Your count Engelbert. 
I see you. There you are. You are a, oh, a, a gluttonous, stubborn, arrogant, incestuous 36-year-old. Nice. Yeah, total he's also, asshole. He's also, he's also obese. Yeah, very obese. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. He's a thick he's boy. He's only, yeah, uh, are you taking up two or three chairs at this feast out of curiosity? Uh, <laughs> a lot more than oh. that. Yeah. Uh, the, the worst part is that uh, his only family is his children. And uh, he got the incest just straight when his child was one year old. We can just leave the rest up to imagination, shall we? It's, it's not a good sign. It's a bad, bad man. All right. Well, lovely. Um, God damn it, I got another daughter. Luke Aldebaro! We haven't seen each other in quite a time. My friend. Yeah, Out of RP, they became friends. Did you get an event for that? Because I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened either. All right. was, I'm pretty sure it was before my previous character died, so I don't yeah. know how that happened. Yeah, we'll just say maybe they met each other at feasts and hunted when they were kids or something. Right. Most cool. likely, if you're both hunters, that makes sense. Yeah, they've both done a lot. A lot of hunts there, like, where are the hunts though? Is it just a big... uh, I'm in Switzerland. I'm a, I'm a very small county there. Oh. We're of no noble distinction at all, so, yeah. Why but, um, is this, they still have the model of A E E I O U by the way, if they're in Switzerland. Or what? They have the model of Austria as the greatest in the world. And oh. Switzerland. Nice. Oh yeah. Uh, Duke Aldebaro, I, I did travel very far to meet with you here. Uh, this is not a formal visit from my father. I just wish to spend some time. It has been quite a while. That it has. Feel free to please around a bit. Of course, you have a wonderful castle here. Far greater a holding than my, my own lands, I must say, but I'm sure you deduce that from our humble humble titles. Oh, there's... I did bring you a gift. Several barrels of ale. My father, it takes to drink, and I know that you always had a, a taste for the good stuff. Some Argyle made beer, fresh from the newly planted fields of wheat in, uh, in my lands. I'll, I'll have a taste of that. Of course. Uh, Just make sure that there's there's plenty less for the left for the duke here. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, well, that wasn't that wasn't an opening statement. I'm saying make sure there's some left for the duke. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh, what a joke! <laughs> I can always get more, I guess. Uh, it's just a very long journey, you know. Regardless. I did, yeah. I had guessed that from your stout disposition. He's very big bag. I'm a, I, have a, I have a lot of meat on the bones, you know? It's, it's good for your health. If you were a stag, I could feed my household for a month. <laughs> Counts. I would be the best of stags. But uh, we don't we don't have a taste for, for such things, I'm afraid. He's quite the mighty man. I'm a mighty man, that you said it. My mother would say husky. I will go with that. <laughs> You're a husky, you're a husky lad. <laughs> Duke Adam Barrow. Uh, yeah. I, I did come here to speak with you about several things, and also with an invitation. At the, with my father, I have managed to convince him to set aside a forest in our lands. It's some of the greatest hunting in, in, in the Empire. And in several years' time, I wish to invite you to visit and, and hunt with me, if you would wish. Oh, it sounds like a grand time. I'll be there. Wonderful. It'll be like when we were young again, but, uh, well, I've improved much, and I think you'll struggle to, uh, to outcompete me now. But you never know. Oh, is that a challenge, I hear? You never were one to stand down from one, and, uh, just because you're a duke now doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Of course, I wouldn't want anything less. No, no. No. And, uh, I also came here to speak on a more, hmm, matter close to my heart. Uh, for this one... Perhaps we can find more private accommodations about your your husky friend here. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this, this is a lovely time because well, I just got a I just got a notice uh, for my for my for my, my duke uh, to my worthless vassal. My court is going on a tour, and I shall soon be visiting my ship. <laughs> but I'm lucky. Okay, I'll head out to see my duke. 
I think that would be a grand idea. Yeah, fucking two fine worthless bastards. What a what a line. Where, where the fuck is he actually? Does, does any of you see? Are you trying to find your litter? I assume it will be carried home. <laughs> Did you park it somewhere uh, in your back? I will not respond to that. Uh, uh, I shall see you later. Very well. I do apologize for that. I, I do find your friend there to be rather uh, uh, off-putting. We'll go with. Uh, friend is a strong, strong word. An interesting fellow indeed. Well, then we have a moment alone. Uh, Duke Aldebaro, I suppose I should use your formal title now, now that you rule in these lands. I have something I wish to speak with you about. It is in regards to the politics of my homelands. Oh? Do you know anything of the politics of the Alps, the mountains? In oh no, I'm afraid I've, I've mostly been hearing things from over my, from my side. Nah. Well, the empire is vast, after all. It took me oh, well over a month to get to your lands. Specifically in the Alps where I reign, my family was given these titles recently. We've not ruled there for very long. And we are all counts. However, I have read over various documents with my, with my friends and with the church. And there is a greater title in the region that is currently without anyone who holds it. A duchy. And, uh... I'll be very frank with you. You, uh, I spoke much of my youth. You know I am not a man who's content with my holdings in Argyle. You always were, rather. How do you say? No. Rather. You, you don't need to hold back, Aldebaro. You, I have, I have a, I have a thirst, a thirst for. Whatever I can find in this life, and I'm not content to die with nothing like my father, tending his garden alone. Nor should you. But to find any level of rising, one must find good friends, and I know we are not as close as when we were children, but I like to think of us still having a close bond, and I am seeking you out in order to talk about whether or not you could give measure of support for what I am seeking. And I do have something to offer in return. It depends upon what you are seeking. My offer is rather simple. If I were to raise to some status and become a duke, I would be influential. But what I offer you specifically is a marriage of either your son to my firstborn daughter or your daughter to my firstborn son to give us a bond of family as well as a more potent means of supporting one another in the future. My dynasty is not great. The Habsburg name means little, but you know well that we are descendants of titles that have some distinction, such as the Zeringans. Yes. Yes. I also offer you free reign of the hunting grounds of Argau, some of the greatest in the Alps. If ever you and your family and friends would seek to seek good hunting, you will have accommodation, wine, alcohol, and lodging without cost to hunt as you would please. Sounds like a good deal. Are you fighting your microphone? Sorry. I'm, uh, <laughs> no worries. I'm using Discord on my phone right now. Ah, fair. Sounds like a good deal. Is this something you would consider then? Yes, I would. That's good to hear. I will say, I worry I do face some competition. And Baron, there's another. His children also are not as ambitious as me, but they certainly seek higher titles. So there may be some competition. Oh, I hope that... What we have to deal with for you to rise up, yes? Of course. I mean, to march on the city that I seek, it would not be a difficult thing. When my father's dead, I will never convince him to do this. I know that. But he is growing older, and we all go to the Lord eventually. When my time comes and Argau is mine to rule, well, it will not be difficult to find the legal documentation, I think, for this city. I'm sure some manner of justification can be found on him. 
I mean, his father was a well-known sodomite. Many would suggest that the son of such a man may not be the best fit to rule. Eh, it's all a matter of things. I would hope... In fact, your duty to take it, would it not? Really? As a rather proper, as an up and right proper Christian. Ah, uh, Duke Alibero, I knew you would see it as I do. And after all, what do we have but our duty? I must be beholden to what is necessary for, for to bring good rule to my lands. I hope that it will require no actions by you. It may well be that this is the agreement we will make and, and the day will come while I march on the region and form that title for myself, but... If it did come to a conflict, I would hope that your soldiers would back me. I would have no greater honor than to do so. Good. I knew I could count on you, my friends. That is very good to hear. Well, we will get such business out of mind and, and out of way. I'm glad to hear your words, and I will stand by my word. Whichever child I am born first, if you would wish... Uh, a daughter, if I have it, for your son, or if you would wish to have one of your daughters married to my heir. It is your choice to choose in the future. Whichever comes first, of course. Of course. God willing. Who knows his plan? Indeed. Very well. Well, let us enjoy. Uh, I think there's a little bit of that beer left. I do see several casks missing. I think yes, the Count may have taken them. He is quite the drinker. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid so. But you will have to come visit the hunting grounds, so we will hunt together, and then you will have uh, all the alcohol you can drink in my lands. It'll be a grand time when we do. It will indeed. And uh, do, yeah, don't feel too embarrassed if you don't take down the stag. Uh, I'll be happy to give you its antlers and its skin if you would wish. Oh, -ho -ho. I'll make you eat those words. Hmm. Well, as long as it's the venison, I think we can both be happy eating on that. Uh, Good venison. I long for one already. Well, let us drink, let us sup, and I will return home before long. I thank you for remembering our friendship and youth and uh, for, for letting me enjoy the accommodations of your great city. There you have a peaceful journey back. Thank you, my friend. Farewell. Farewell, my friend. I still don't know how they became friends, but we'll just we'll just go where they met at a feast and got into hunting. I'm gonna work on upgrading the hunting grounds. I want I want our hunting grounds to become like just really famous for being like super high quality. One of my goals for this game is to is gonna get us uh, as high as we can go on them, really. How high can we actually get with them? Oh, not too high. If we build a keep. We don't have battlements. Now we're only actually going to be able to go up one level. That's a shame. Are we working on battlements? We are not. He's working on... Your armillary sphere. Naval speed? We're a landlocked culture. Fuck. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll get to a level 2 hunting lodge, and we'll be happy with that. We'll have some hounds for the hunt. I wish Otto married uh, this guy's sister or something. Which one? Aldebaro, or are you talking about fucking Count Engelbert? <laughs> Does anyone know when Austria the Habsburgs became a European power historically? I think a good 200 years after it. It, it took a while. Also, I'm going to also have as many kids as I can. You're trying to outcompete my hunting lodge, you fuck. You have one? Angle part, fuck. Ah, we were invited to a feast by, uh... Yeah, our son has no respect for this guy, but we'll go. We would go. Held Varner is much more chill about things, so we're gonna go visit him. 
Count Berkard of Neuchatel. So his father was the Sodomite, and our son is, like, plotting against this guy, like, already. Which we know, but we, we just don't give a shit. We're 61. We're trying to garden. We're trying to hunt. We're trying to drink. We're, we're not looking to do much else in our life at this point. Ah, oh, he liked our dog. Hell yeah. He's a very good boy. No, you were not invited. <laughs> I guess they know about your plotting. Apparently, they don't care about my son's plotting. Yeah, we're just here for recreation. We're going to fuck around. The Prince Bishop gave him a bison horn. Nice. Everyone's petting our dog. Really, it's really good to bring a dog to feast. That checks out. Having a dog is a great way to... To meet people. I don't know how I met one of my exes. Ish. Our son's a drunk. <laughs> You know where we're going to go with? He got drunk, like, right when we went to Stairmark. We're going to say that, like, him and Adelbero spent, like, a week together just boozing, like, ridiculous amounts. So when our son came back from his trip to Austria, he's just a fucking drunk. <laughs> that checks out. What's a bandit? Bro jamming with Minecraft music. Who's doing that? Nice. Where'd the music go? One plate of food is replaced by the next. My acquaintance, Berkti, uh, goes on and on about troop compositions. We don't give a shit about that. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Am I not boring you, my lord? She's a giant. We're irritable. Uh, so we're going to call her out. You're making a fool of yourself. Could never bore me. Apparently, we, like, lose stress by bullying people. It's, it's lovely. <laughs> it was your own Minecraft music. Daylight pours through the windows, and in just one moment, the whole fall, hall is illuminated. Most of the seats are now empty, and some servants are still, uh, here. Alright, so we drank all night. And we're home. Our wife is very unhappy with us. She's always unhappy with us. Architect? Uh, Count Warner. Ah! My friend, welcome to uh, uh, Habsburg Castle. What brings you here? Well, Count Warner, not, nothing truly diplomatic, per se. Mm. But I'll say your daughter has been wonderful. I know your son had a. Uh, Count uh, you, Gerard, you, you, you don't need to lie to me about my daughter. No, truly. Mm. She is only 23. And she has already bore two children in our name. Ah, yes. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I hope she's giving you no trouble. Yes. Oh, so no. Say no more. No, if we don't we don't need to discuss it. It's fine. So as as she's giving you children, she's doing her job. Yes. Count, sometime when, uh... Before I die, I'm quite aware that I am sitting on death's door now. We must go hunting. Ah! I have recently gone hunting in the lowlands, and... I've well, I, I can't say no to that. Wait. One moment. You know, I have just upgraded the hunting lodges around here. I have several hound pens with lots of hunting animals. We'll get you a stag. I can promise you that. So have one moment. Ah, how wonderful. Must say, I have recently done some hunting in the lowlands, and... Together with Count Ulrich at Bern, we had retrieved and killed a uh, great boar. All right, I am going to go ahead and why well, only invite like a couple people. I'll invite my courtiers, then friends, then how do I close family or extended family? Bear with me. Fellow vassals, maybe? Invites everyone. Is there a way to choose specific people? Do you know by chance? 
Uh, I don't even own the DLC, so I'm not really. Oh, fucking fair. Still trying to get used to this. Let's see. Maybe I think I have to do fellow vassals. Yeah, it'll only be a couple other people. Yeah, probably. That's fine. How do I? There we go. I spent a lot of money on this. All right, we're gonna do this properly. I promise you, if this is this be your last time, we'll do this properly. You have the invitation yet? Oui, I do. Good, good. Now, the, they say there is a great stag somewhere in the forest. Uh, my son has gone after it multiple times. He hasn't found the creature. Perhaps you will find it, Count. Hello, my okay, friend. So. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for hosting this uh, hunt. Uh, it's, uh, it's very good. I hope you all, did you bring uh, dogs, clothing? Uh, we will be out in the woods for quite a while. I have uh, very good spears if you didn't bring them. All the preparations are ready. Don't forget the wine. Oh, I never forget the wine, oh, I promise sure. you that. Oh, it's a beer too. I hope you enjoy a good stout beer. I'll bring wine, of course, but it's the beer that we make very well here at Argal. I can assure you. Such a low chance of success, my god. <laughs> Gerard dies doing this, at least he dies uh, with the story. This gets killed in the hunting accident? Fuck. Count Werner, I'm here for the hunt, but I must say I have issues. Look, what, what do you what do you mean? Why are our children not married? Are they not? They are not. Out of RP, I don't the I game doesn't do the pop-up anymore. How do you actually make that happen? Uh, I can just break get a married okay, let me try and arrange marriage to her here we go try this they changed it in this DLC and it, it used to pop up and it doesn't do that anymore yeah that's weird mm -hmm. try that again Amasunde alright cool they're married now Very well, we, can, we can celebrate the marriage oh, with this hunt. hunt yes yeah 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 it'd be very good you get to meet uh, Otto. He's a good lad. He's with us today. Otto, it's a pleasure. It's very, uh, very good to meet you. Are you a capable hunter? My father, I know, has corresponded with you much. Yes, I've been on several hunts. The game up here is not as extreme as in the south. I, my father says you, you hunted bears down there. Well, I don't think we'll be doing that. Yes, your father and I both hunted the bear. It was... Very exciting. Well, you took it down, didn't you? It was not me. It was my cousin, Bonifacio, who took him down. Ah. Uh, see. Well, we'll be hunting stag today. And I assure you, they are no small deer. Mm. I do love some good venison. We'll go after a heart. We came across some poachers. All right, uh, I'm going to take the animal, and uh, I'm, I rested a bunch of poachers in front of you. I don't know if you guys got that event. No. Okay. Yikes. Well, um, Count, uh, Count Garant just died, like, in front of all of you. <laughs> During the middle of the hunt? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to go if he died trying to kill the stag, or are you just like killed over because he's old as shit? Yeah, he, he died in a hunting accident. Fuck. <laughs> <him. laughs> was anyone with him? He was talking about dying soon, but my God. My father was a great man, but and you said you warriors have safer hunts. Uh, these lands are normally very safe. I don't know. Uh, it's just the hearts. Who who killed it? Who, um. I 
just flicked through it, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it was the Prince Bishop ended up killing it. But it's giant antlers, apparently. Famed antlers. Jesus Christ. And given my character, I'm going to keep the antlers. What I will do, though, is... Uh, your, was your son here, uh, Schlob? Uh, he wasn't. Okay. When you go home, uh, Kelton Verner is going to gift you the antlers from the hunt, given your father fucking died here. Thank you very much. Of course. Take them as a gift. I will accompany his body to the border as well. I know that he spoke about dying and this being his last hunt, but I didn't figure that would be literal. Yes, I at least hoped that he would die in his uh, the safety of our home. But alas... It was not meant Tragedy, to be. But... Well, thank you, uh, Duke Pierre, for coming here. I, through my son and your daughter, will have many children and be very fruitful. Yes. May they live happily ever after. Ah, if you can only hope. Thank you. And may your journey home be safe. And thank you, uh, Chair, what's your title? Oh, wait, you're New Chateau? Yeah. Oh, shit. Thank you, uh, Count Brookard, for coming. It was an honor to uh, hunt with you. It was an honor to hunt with you, too. Auf Wiedersehen. Uh, farewell. You. All right, I'm going to scrap my plans to go after Nushital. It's a player. I didn't realize that. All right, my, I mean, our son is still very ambitious, but I won't go after a player. Wait. I'm over here plotting against what I thought was an AI when it's actually a player. Fuck. God damn it. Heinrich came of age. Oh my god, he's incompetent. He's a charismatic negotiator. He's irritable, reclusive, greedy, shy, and callous. He would be an insufferable cunt is what he would be. Holy fuck. I mean, didn't I tell you Nushatel was a player? No, you didn't. I had to look at it, which is on me. No, you did. You said that he was gonna join after the rehost. That's my bad. Alright, yeah, I will not I will not go after that player then. That means no one can form the duchy title, right? Yeah, because someone needs two counties. We'll have to game over someone, which we can't do, so. Yeah, Baron and Nushatel are both players. My wife, Regilin, stops me in the corner, grinning from ear to ear, and her hands are two fishing poles. Come fishing with me today, dear husband. I promise you'll love it, she exclaims. It's been a while since I took a breath and escaped the hustle and bustle of the castle. We really, uh, we don't hate our wife. We'll go fishing with her. Yeah, we could petition the Kaiser. That's what my son will probably end up doing, our son. Uh, I'm not too sure. But I will not go after that player. I'm, we, I'm not going to game over anyone. This father was a sodomite. Fuck. An elective duchy would be interesting, that's true. And we can ask Chrisay about it. We never founded the alliance with, uh... Actually, that's, that's Eamon. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to game over your character, Green. I think it would be more interesting to RP it out where we, like, petition the Kaiser for an elective du duchy. I think that'd be much cooler. Then we can all just literally fight each other, like, verbally for it, you know? And have, like, election speeches. That's way more fun. Yeah, what does playing in Zurich? Oh my god, he's fucked up. Looks like his face is melting. Let's build some hunting grounds in, uh... And Lucerna as well. We'll build hunting grounds and fields in Lucerna. We only get two holdings. We don't get any more land, too. So it's not like we can even expand. We had a grandson! Magnus. That's a very good name. We're going to go with Magnus. And we're going to give him... What education should we go for our grandson? I'll do a poll on that. I'll let you all decide. He'll be our heir one day. Diplo, Marshal, Intrigue, Learning, or Stewardship. I'm gonna take the vows. 
<laughs> the worst option. I think we are Swiss response. We're getting letters from Duke Paul of Sulzbach. There's a Nordgau, which is uh, next to Bohemia. I'm looking forward to our correspondence. Please employ you. Pick the first subject to discuss. We'll go with court rumors. We lost our physician. Oh, we still have one. That's weird. He has zero prowess. Who? Our king or our son? Or our grandson? Oh, our grandson, yeah. We can petition the Kaiser for it now? No, we've done no roleplay for it. I think next session. I know you won't be here, but... I don't want to rush that. Getting it, like, creating a duchy would be a really big thing after. We'd need to write some RP for that. My precious Devore language notes are scattered all over my study. We're still trying to learn French. The ink-soaked raven is still flapping its wings all over. How did it even get in here? Who's covered in a, uh, in an ink? A letter for you, my counts. I turned around and snatched the message from my servant's hand. A real shame what happened to your notes, but look at the bright side. Your writing was already similar to a crow's feet. Sorry, what? We're, we're not a good person. We're gonna try and murder our marshal. He just insulted the fuck out of us. We may be chilling, but we're also an, a, an analytical villain, so, or content villain, I apologize. What's up, what the? Yeah, he just insulted us. We've been trying to learn French for years now. We've struggled with it constantly, trying to learn it to speak it with our, with our friends in Geneva. And uh, he knows that and he still insulted us. Fuck that. We're not going to spend money, though. Is this a feast or a hunt? It's a hunt. We're going to go to a, a hunt up in Liege. We're going to take our son with us, too. It says we have an artifact, but then it's not showing up. I think it's bugged. People found out we were trying to kill our fucking uh, marshal. God damn it. Uh, no, no, no. You, you misunderstand. This, 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 this is all wrong. No, no, no. We didn't mean to do this. Someone is spreading scandalous rumors about us. No idea what this is. Ah, oh, Kristen Tog. Uh, you're, you'd be speaking with my wife, though, because I'm headed to a, a hunt in Liege. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Greetings. Oh, my husband is away, uh, currently. Wait, I apologize. No, it's my son. I come here to speak for with you and your father. That I come from a visit from Bern, and we spoke of an alliance and he agreed upon. This is an alliance we want just for in dire need and i'm also asking you if you would a uh, would accept an alliance for this region did you speak with count Ulrich? i've heard rumors that he is uh he does not have his wits about him anymore but i do agree such a thing for our mountains all of us we are not strong martial powers like others my father has always known this and i know it very well so i think you're suggesting to come to each other's aid if one of us are invaded, correct? Yes, only when... It's not for personal gain, only when one of us is attacked and it's in dire need. This, uh, this I think would be very agreeable. I have, uh, hoped for something similar. If we can work together, we can, we can find much higher bearing. And if we become a formidable force through this and we can develop our lands, perhaps the Kaiser would even see fit to grant proper titles upon one of us. I uh, fully agree on that, Prince. I'm glad we do. I know you're... 
I'll be frank with you. I like to always speak the truth. Your father was a man with a very poor reputation. Count Bucard, I know that you are trying to improve upon that. And I think that we... We both could do that together. I may be much younger, but I can promise you that... I, much like you, will not settle. And I think that there's much we can do to, uh... To make our lands greater. Yes. May the Alps pro prosper. Uh, yes, and may House Nuremberg prosper as well. Or Nuremberg, I apologize. So does House Habsburg. Before you oh, return oh. home, would you like a drink, Count? Oh, would you have a wine for me? What is it? With all of my neighbors always wanting wine. Of course, we have good wine. You don't drink beer? I have more for a wine person. It goes well with the food. Well, you are right, of course. It goes very well with venison. I'll have some wine brought from the cellar. Thank you. And we will speak for a time here before you, uh, you take the trip home. One thing I do wish to talk to you about, if you do have a moment, is uh, the state of the road in between our cities. Mountain passes, they're very hard to traverse. And I've noticed in recent times, the road between uh, Norshital and Biel has lowered much in quality. I do have the funds currently to requisition repairs on my side, but only, of course, if this would be met with improvements on the road on your side. A, a good road up to your border would be useless if it did not go all the way between our two cities. I agree upon this fully. The development of my, my and your place is equally important. For my citizen to sell goods to you is very important to have a great network of roads, so... I agree. You know, there, there are other regions. I've traveled much in my life. There are many regions that have the expediency to ignore repairs, for the land is naturally easy to cross. We do not live in such a land, Count, Neu uh, Count Neunberg, and uh, I'm glad you see it like I do. Well, I will set aside funds for the repairing of my roads and uh, guards to protect them carefully. And if you do the same, I'm sure we will both prosper much into the future. Yes. May God be with you. May God be with you. Farewell. Farewell. Alrighty. We are done for the day at 6 p.m. We're all done. That was a fun game. I had a very good time. I do like playing counts. Like, it's a really chill game. Even in single player, you just kind of hang out, vibe. And tours and tournaments has made, like, low titles so much more enjoyable now. Because, like, my whole thing is I'm just going to build up, like, a really nice hunting lodges in my territory. And just get, you know, enough economy built that I can host, like, hunting, you know, sessions all the time for people. I think that's what we're going to end up doing, so... This will be interesting going forward. I think we will try and go for, like, the elective duchy and petition the Kaiser with the other ones. Since there's three players, I think that makes more sense and no one gets game ruined, so we'll we'll go for that. Um, all right. We will end here for the day, I think. Fun, fun, fun session. I love the new DLC, man. It, also, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing good in school. Hope all is well. In the Alpine Alliance. Hell yeah. And become a drunkard. So did uh, so did my son, Schlob. Otto is also a drunk, so they'll get a they'll get along even better now. Let's see if there's anyone ever made. Uh, no one's playing CK3. All right, we'll end it here. I will be streaming on Wednesday. We're gonna continue House Dane. Hopefully, we'll finally become Lord Paramount as we are scheming for that. Saturday morning, we will continue and have a proper pirate roleplay for the Grand Campaign next weekend. Uh, this continues next Saturday. Tomorrow, uh, we obviously are going to have Victory RP from 2 to 6. And then I'm going to be streaming a William Dawn single player campaign after that in the evening. I hope everyone enjoyed. I really enjoyed this. Hope you all did too. And I will see you later. Have a good rest of your Saturday evening or night, depending on where you're at.